Good morning. <clears throat> Hi, Kim. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I literally just got out of the bath and clicked start stream. My glasses are still a bit foggy. Also, I don't know what's going on. I think my eyelashes are getting longer. Because you know how when you get like little streakies on your glasses? I'm getting more and more of those. You just woke up. No, I woke up at 7. A little bit later than I normally do. It's because I couldn't sleep last night. But I've been up for a bit. I played- ooh, I played sap earlier. Put them more down on your nose? Oh. I like when they're right up against my face. <laughs> Wait, that's probably why. It's probably too close to my eye. Hi, Vic. Can we get some yos? Hi, Marceline. Hi, guys. Wait, there's so many green chatters. Oh wait, on the chat overly Marceline, you're orange. But on my POV, you're green. <clears throat> also, Vic, are you still sick? It's like, are you watching stream because you're sick? You got your glasses up on your eyes? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know, I gotta get my cooties on my glasses, that way nobody cops them. My sister was saying they do sell, like, glasses for cheap in Japan, so she might get me some. Next time she goes, she don't know where she's gonna go. Oh, you work at a desk. Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad I can help calm you down a little bit, you know? Okay, guys. Three, two, one. It works. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is 10.04 a.m. August 16th. It is Friday. I just realized I've streamed every weekday this week. Am I- is this like a normal job? <laughs> POV, I need sleep, but I can't miss this. Put it on the TV, and I fall asleep to my lovely voice. We had Kim, Marceline, and Vic Hanton in the starting soon screen. Welcome in, guys. Hello. Um, also, I've realized... Um, since I've been doing longer streams the past few days, I've been, like, skipping lunch, which is really bad. But I, like, I would have, like, a larger meal at night, and, like, a snack right after I end stream, and that's bad. That's not working. So I do have a protein shake, so remind me if I forget. Let's see, it's 10. I ate breakfast at 9. Remind me at 1 p.m. my time, so in 3 hours to have my shake, okay? I'll probably remember, but if I forget at 1 p.m. I need to have my shake. And today's shake is... Not sponsored. Atkins... I don't know, I've tried a bunch of different brands, but Atkins has the best texture. What the hell? Setting an alarm for 4 p.m. <laughs> Setting an alarm for 4 p.m.? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that, because I know, not that I will forget, it's just like, I'll like, remember at like 2. But thank you, Vic! Can we get some Wakantans? Thank you for another 100 bits. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's see, what else? I think last night- oh my god, last night. So, have you guys ever had, like, shumai or dim sum? Um, it's like steamed, like, Asian appetizer. So, shumai is where it has, like, the little square wonton wrapper, and then it has, like, pork and shrimp filling and other seasonings. And I've made it from scratch before. It's really, like, tedious to make, because you kind of gotta- you gotta have good finger skills. Wink. So last night, I just made the shumai filling, but made them as, like, meatballs and baked it. Oh my god, it was so good. <laughs> it was, like, because they were, like, this big. It was, like, biting into just, like, a shumai without the wrapper. It was so good. Me and my sister guzzled them down. They were so good. Anyway. Just look up a recipe for pork and shrimp meatballs, and that's literally what shumai filling is. It's so good. Yeah, so that was last night. Yeah, the plan is simple. Also, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I was looking. Okay, chat. I'm working on new illustrations for the art website. Talking about that. Guys, today's stream is presented to you by... Where is it? 
Peace and art on my shop about come. Oh my god! New Lionel prints are available now. There is color and black and white version, so if you want to color it yourself, go for it. You can also buy the singles to get a 10% 10 chance of getting a hollow. You can also use code TWITCH10 for $10 off. And if you are a current Twitch subscriber, you get an exclusive $17 discount one time only. Ain't no way. So I'm working on new illustrations. I've been working on them gradually the past few nights. And uh, what do you guys want first? Now, I did say I would leak if I got a donation yesterday, and then I didn't leak, so I'm leaking it now. I'll do a poll. Because the... Which picture? I spelled bird wrong. Because I have two illustrations that I'm working on. Vote in the poll. Do you guys want bird or ladybug? Because they're different sizes, so therefore I'd have to buy different envelope sizes. Because what is cool? Vote in the poll, vote in the poll. What do you guys want first? Because envelopes are going to cost me like 10, 15 bucks. Oh wait, I don't drink this now. I don't know why I'm opening the shake now. What do you want first? Do you want bird or ladybug? What type of bird? That's I'm not going to leak fully. I don't want to leak too much. This is already a huge leak. <laughs> um, because when you mail things through USPS, you can mail envelopes that are up to six inches high and nine inches long, so like this big, or 11 inches long, so like this big. So <clears throat> I have to buy like specialty size envelopes if I wanna like ship uh, larger illustrations, like watercolors and stuff. I picked bird, okay. Bird is gonna be easier. Okay, W. I'll take that into consideration. And by that I mean, I'm gonna start with the opposite. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I might- Because, like, I ideally want to do, like, an illustration every two to three weeks. But once I have envelopes, then I can just keep- keep dropping them. Because illustrations, I've realized, are a lot easier to make and then also ship. Because I didn't realize that I could just send it through regular, like, uh, first-class post office mail. So, like, just with a stamp on it. As long as it's, like, America. We haven't had any international orders yet. Okay, but thank you for voting. Okay, guys, the plan is simple. Continuing the in stars and time playthrough. I have about 13, 14 hours in this. We're about halfway through. Now, we'll do our little intro in a bit. I assume, because last time, spoilers, we faced the king and then he won he, he KO'd everybody to do 5,000 damage, which sucks. So there's probably like some secret item or some secret quest we have to do after we reset. So that's probably what we're doing today. Um, I do, cause this is our fourth stream of this game in a row. I kind of want to do a one-off stream next time I go live. So probably I'm hanging out with my sugar daddy this weekend and sugar mama on Sunday. And I might have a big me business meeting on Monday. And by that, I mean, I just go have to apply to a bank account. <laughs> Wait, did you get to your- Everybody's socials got leaked. <laughs> did you guys see that? I was like, oh no. But, I'm already like- It would be very hard for somebody to get a new credit card with my information. Because like, my score- My score is decent. It's decent, considering like- I've had my card, like, in debt for, like, six months now. Like, it's a decent credit score. But, like, ain't no way somebody will be able to, will be able to open a new line of credit. Ain't no way. Everyone's, yeah. How, I don't, how did they get everyone's, though? Like, what, what if they're, like, bluffing? Whenever there's, like, a hacking, I'm like, are they, like, lying? There's no way. I mean, let's be honest. People who run the government are, like, fucking old-ass boomers. But still, like... I don't feel bad because they can't scam everyone. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's like fucking two billion numbers that got leaked or some shit. Like, obviously, they're gonna hopefully steal from those who have like a lot of money or who would be able to like get like insane credit maximums. You know what I mean? But so I am not in that demographic. <laughs> but yeah. But it is kind of like sus considering. <laughs> Because, like, in order to, like, open a new bank account, they need, like, your information, right? <laughs> so I'm like, 
I'm not the scammer. <laughs> and I want to walk in the bank and be like, it was not me. I just happened to be opening a new account right after the hacking. It's not me. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. The next time I'll stream, I kind of want to do the Poker Rogue. Stream ends when I die in Poker Rogue. We'll do that on Tuesday. Because uh, we need another YouTube video. Talk about YouTube, guys. New highlight will be posted tomorrow morning. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channels. Weekly stream highlights in the main and daily clips on the Clips channel. Subscribe to both. It's free to sub on YouTube. $6 on Twitch. Okay, now I, th I think that's it. I think that's all I need to update channel on. There's nothing really. Ever since... Because, like, since this game is longer, the streams are longer. So, like... I have less time to do shit when I click end stream. But, yeah. Also, I did my hair different today. Because I want to keep it down more, but... I hate when my hair touches here. I just got a DM saying, this is peace and send money for stream and art. Ain't no way. Did it say ain't no way in the message? Ain't no way. Hi, Tooth. Welcome in. Guys, if you get any DMs from people claiming to be me, it's not me. I have my official accounts, and I don't DM people. I got one, too. Guys, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tooth. Can we get some yo's? No, but like I don't get how people fall for those like phishing scams like you gotta I'm sorry like there's been some instances where like some people pose as like youtubers or streamers and DM people like asking for money like I'm sorry but you genuinely have to be like brain dead stupid to send people money to those links corn on the cob print would be cool like elote I've thought about doing a food series. I have I have so many different ideas I have cooking up here. I just I just literally need like five hundred dollars for supplies. Like literally that's all I need. I have so many different ideas and I'm not gonna leak them. Mine DM said, I love art, send me fifty dollars for me to stream again. Well I click go live, so like obviously it's fake. It's one of my favorite snacks. I'm sorry, but like I don't like corn. Like the internet meeting? And, oh, no, I'm kidding. And then also like the food. <laughs> I need to stop. Okay, the ads are done. I need to stop. I need to stop. Pause what? It's when you like make a joke and you don't think about the repercussions. Don't fucking clip. Why are you guys both clipping? <laughs> I legit got a spam email once that said you have lots of money from a family member that died and left you a fortune. Just send me $2,000 to clear it. Oh, that's always a scam. No, have you guys seen the scams of like people like making deep faces of like your family members' voices? I don't know. I, I think I would fall for that one. Imagine being Mexican and hating porn. Plot twist, I'm not Mexican. I'm Puerto Rican and Cuban. Soy or... Mis, como se dice grandpa? Abuelo. Uh, mis abuelos son. Si. Eran? No. We're from Meg. We're from Cuba. <laughs> Someone scanned my mom's voice and I laughed. <laughs> Sorry, this is funny. I've never gotten scammed like that. Okay, guys, can we play the game now? Let's lock in. Also, my sister might come harass me in like five minutes. So just so you guys are aware. Okay. In stars and time. Wait, let's see if the audio synced. <laughs> I love Taco Bell. I've been watching a lot of queso streams, right? And he'll watch like food videos like educational food videos and there was one he watched where he was talking about like international fast food like lto products and some uk and some american taco bell offer kit kat quesadillas that sounds so good but it's only in midwestern states we don't get any of the good shit
The most we get is like the Fritos burrito, and that's fine. Oh wait, we did have nacho fries, unless that was a national like LTO. I want the Kit Kat quesadilla. You're from three different islands? Um, oh yeah, I guess. I'm an island boy. <laughs> okay, I'm locking in, I'm locking in. Okay. Today I'm continuing my playthrough of In Stars in Time. Last time we faced the king and begrudgingly we died in one hit. We reset at the very beginning, which I think is pretty good. So we're gonna go back and rediscover everything on this attempt. I assume there's like a hidden item or some quest we have to do, but you know what? I'm down. I am really glad that we did spawn at the very, very start, because now we can go back and did everything that I think I might have missed. Because there's for sure some of the verbal code doors. I had to talk to the shopkeeper, I think. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, I do not have 135 hours. The game is glitched. Here, back here. Still here. Nobody knows that they all died. Sifrin, you're up. The usual, please. Okay, nothing new here yet. Oh, that was at the shop. Bonnie is. Well, I'll let you do this then. Sounds like you remember. You do. Okay. See you at the clock tower later, then. I'll be near the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh. Wait. Maybe Mirabelle would know a way to survive the king's attack. You should talk to her later. You wave goodbye. Okay! We learned at the very start. Nice. <clears throat> Mirabelle is here, sitting on a bench and looking at papers. Hi, Sifrin. Do you need anything? Questions. Should we just leak? <laughs> <clears throat> the king killed you last time. There was nothing you could do against the king's last attack. But maybe Mirabel will know something. Huh? A skill to save us against the king? Just in case? Um... Feels like we could find something like this in a book. Did you check the library? The library, huh? You should check the one in the village. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll see you later. I'm glad it's at the very start. We also need to talk to the shopkeep. This was the library. Why is there a banana peel? Wait, I've never been here. It never let me go past because of the tutorial girl. Ah, huh. you heard the villagers talk about this. A very dangerous fruit, which if approached, will spell your doom. This is just a banana peel. Do bananas even grow here? But wait, instead of a banana peel, could it be? A plantain peel? Whatever. Plantains are just bananas that taste bad. Controversial. This is a banana peel to you, now and forevermore. Step closer. Fuck it, let's do it! You decide to step closer. Here we go. You slipped on a banana peel. Start again. Ah, whatever. I don't care. Oh, the king illustration's now at the top. I just wanted to see what I, I knew I was gonna die. I'd rather do it now. Truly a dangerous forbidden fruit. But since death seems to be the easiest way to loop, this banana peel might come in useful sometime. Don't tell me I'd have to loop at the start, huh? Here we go again. Yeah. 
You know, I'm trying to get the achievement where I die every single possible way. Because not gonna lie, if I had the looping power, I would want to try that. <laughs> Just to, like, see what, what it'd be like, you know? Should I touch the banana again? No, I won't slip on it again. I just want to see what happens when you say no. The banana peel lays here menacingly. Step closer? No. You do not step closer to the dangerous forbidden fruit. I've never been up here. Oh. Just a better view. Old one. Hello, young lad. Sit down next to me. You can sit on benches and stools by walking into them. Yes, I know. Just walk into them. Very intuitive. Oh, they were talking to me. Horrifying, isn't it? Our beautiful house of change, warped into such a terrible shape. The king waits inside, waits for the entire country to finally be frozen in time. I shall pray for your victory tomorrow. What if we just, like, hang out on the bench and not fight the king? I don't like violence. Okay, I'm bored. <laughs> that was cute. I'm glad I checked that. I believe this was either the bakery or the shopkeep. It's the locked one. It's locked by one of those weird locks. You need to know the open phrase to be able to open it. Open phrase one, two, three, this open the other door. Nothing happens. Hmm. This was the bakery? Yeah, the bakery. Wait, he offered you a croissant last time, didn't he? No. You have to ask for a pan au chocolat, quick. Do you have any pan au chocolate? Sure, but I'm actually known for my delicious buttery croissants, if you want one instead. No. You shake your head side to side furiously. Incredible. Incredible. I've never seen anyone give such a look of disdain when offered a croissant. Huh. One pan au chocolate coming up. You got a pan au chocolate. Yay. You think about putting it in your pocket for later, but it smells so wonderful. Still warm. It smells like butter and chocolate. Okay, this is the same dialogue as last time. Hmm. Oh, the library. Oh no, it's it's the it's not the library. They just have books. Oh yeah, this was the fashion designer. Oh, do I remember how to fish? You didn't catch anything last time, but maybe this time. Why not? <laughs> Alright, this time for sure. You take the fishing pole, find the same lure you used before, check the fishing pole, throw it, and sit down and wait. Fishing time. You didn't catch anything, but I had the fishing book. 
How did you manage to mess it up a second time? <laughs> I'm not laughing, sir. Yeah, this was the couple. The jewelry maker. Uh, choose the round necklace. Hmm. You're right. I think she'd be happy about this one. She gently attaches the necklace around her wife's neck and looks at her for a while. You told her to give her wife the other necklace before, but she just said the exact same thing. Why even ask then? Okay, make sure to defeat the king tomorrow, okay? I'd like... I'd like to ask my wife which one she'd actually prefer. Yeah. You will definitely be able to save everyone with this power you have now. So she'll definitely be able to ask her which necklace she actually prefers. I'm gonna try and talk to everyone again. Oh hi! You're one of the saviors, aren't you? I recognize you. And you traveled with a few people, right? You traveled with, um... Ooh, okay. Isabeau? Isabeau! What a nice young man! And so full of energy, too! I'm an only child, but I feel like having an older brother like him would be fun. You have to mention it. We're not actually a family, you know. Oh, I know. I know. This is just a fun thought exercise. I just like to think about family dynamics and just families in general. I think that's a normal thing to do. Okay. Families, huh? Not really. Yeah, I can't- Oh! I can talk to them. Oh, look at you! So scrawny! Scrawny one! Did you know you could press Y to run? You should give it a try sometime. And did you know that you could turn on always run in your options menu? So you can run all the time? Did you know? Did you know about this? Did you know pressing Y makes you run? Did you know you can run all the time by going into the options menu? Did you run? Do you like running? I'm more of a lazy, take it easy type. Disgusting! I, I, I mean, understandable. You look like you've never run a day in your life. So you need to build up those muscles. Get fast. Get swole. And press Y to run. Rude. You may look scrawny, but you're definitely the fastest one out of the group. Huh. That is true. Okay, I don't like the motion the background does when I run. That's why I disabled run mode, but I might need it a little later. Oh yeah, this was the bakery. Did you know? <laughs> Mojo, top ten. Is this the shopkeep? Yeah, this is the shopkeep. Ahoy, traveling one! Oh, you're with Mirabelle and Lady with the glasses. I recognize you. You nod again. Blessings by the change god, huh? You wonder if the change god is the one who revived you and gave you those powers. Eh, it doesn't matter that much. Oh, before you forget. Do you know anything about the locked doors in the house? Locked doors? Ah, uh, yes. There's one locked by one of those word locks. Let's see. Ah, I remember. The open phrase to open it is stow storage room room. Because there's a storage room inside. But I didn't want to unlock it if you just said storage room. N don't look at me like that. Well, either way, there's not much in there. Nonetheless, I hope it helps you on your journey tomorrow. It very much will, sir. Old, moldy books. You can't even read their titles. A closet filled with everything from empty salt shakers and half-broken pencils. Are they for sale? I think Mirabelle is by the library. This is the store. Odell is here looking at what the shop has to offer.
Okay, nothing to do with Odo. Oh, hey, Traveler. You're not from Vagard, aren't you? That's the rumor, at least. You talked to them before. Well, you've been to Pateria once, so... I've been to Pateria once. Ah, is that so? How did you like it? Very good plays. A fellow theater fan. Nice. They give each other a nod, as fellow theater fans do. I believe this was the library. Wait, I... Did I go in here before? I don't know if I did. A torch. It burns brightly. A pile of papers. What horrible handwriting. You can't read any of them. Board librarian. Yeah, I don't think I went here before. Welcome to the library. Well, our selection is kind of lacking. All the good books are in the house. But the house is, well, closed until further notice. Since the king took residence there and froze everyone in time. Are you looking for a book in particular? Are you? Also, hi, Keelan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Um, anything about how to survive a very powerful attack? Survive a very powerful attack? Um, like crafting a shield. I wouldn't know anything about that. That sounds highly specialized. I don't think we carry that sort of knowledge here. I doubt even the house's library would own something like that. Maybe it would be in the secret library. The what? Uh-huh. Secret library. The secret library whose entrance is hidden in the library. That library. One of the walls looks normal, but if you check it carefully, it'll reveal the secret. The library's entrance. Technically, only the librarians know about it. But you are trying to save Vagard, so don't snitch on me. And don't lose tomorrow. Yeah, I'll try. Huh. Cool. So the house's library is on the second floor. Has a secret library. Sounds like you should go there and check the walls. Okay, library, second floor, wall check. Was supposed to be at work right now. 15 minutes before my shift. Got told to come 50, 30 minutes later. Then my normal shift. Then 15 minutes before that one was supposed to start. And then I just got told not to come in. I love that for you. That's so stupid. It should be illegal. Everything concerning work should be illegal. <laughs> but I'm sorry you're there, Keelan. But you know what? You can spend some time with us today. Smile. I don't think I've ever, like, told somebody to not come in. I've definitely had to send people home early, and I hated doing that shit, because the moment you send people home early, you get busy. It's like reverse psychology. The bookcase is filled with novels. Run, Child, Run, The Unrestrained, The Cursing of the Chateau Castle, issue number 6, 12, and 24. None of those catch your eye. The bookcase is filled with books about culture. Travelers of the World, The House, Monasteries of the Change God, Kaboon Expressions, oh, there's an old book stuck between the shelf and the wall. Take it out? Yeah. Pushing some books around, you're able to get a hold of the old book. Book between your hands, you try to read the title. Try as you might, your mind can't seem to get a hold of the letters. You put it back. That's a secret book. We're probably gonna have to come back, huh? Oh, I can't... I can't access that dialogue anymore. Dang! There's a paper attached to the wall. The paper seems to list people who aren't allowed in this library for crimes against books. The bookcase is filled with books about craft. What is craft? Crafting for dummies. Creative craft, how to use paper type effectively. Scissors type and me. Just because you're rock type doesn't mean you can destroy walls and many more. 
You should give that last one to Bonnie. Pick up what is craft crafting for dummies? Yeah, why not? You pick up the book and open it at a random page. Protection craft, creative craft, and piercing craft, or commonly known as rock, paper, and scissor craft, are three branches of common craft able to be used by most people. It is the art of molding the world around us as we see fit, like crafting clay into movable figurines, or using paint to create art that is blah blah blah. You flip through the book. Using craft in battle is taking the creative energy and making it physical to hurt enemies. Blah blah blah. You flip through the book. Other types of craft include body craft, time craft, blah blah blah. You flip through the book. Time craft. You shouldn't be able to craft time. There's a piece of paper taped to the page with a tiny face drawn on it. The tiny face is an upside down smiling face saying, ha ha ha, funny joke. Huh. Time craft not being achievable was the theory for a long time. But the king was able to freeze people in time, isn't he? And what makes you loop in time could be considered time craft too. Oh well. You don't really care about how you can loop in time at the moment. You're just glad you got this power to help everyone. Okay, a little bit of lore. So I bet if we came to this library the first time, there would be a lot of dialogue that I wouldn't be able to see. Anyway. Big papers. He slightly unroll one to look inside. It's a big map of a guard. Big papers. You slightly want one to look inside. It's a big map of a guard. Okay, so there's a secret library in the second floor. Either way, we should go talk to the star person. Also, I feel bad. I think I misgendered the star person last time. I think they go by they. Isabeau is here, probably pondering a favor to ask the tree. I'm ending the bit. Boo. That's how it has to be, Sifrin. Anyway, I was just looking at the favorite tree. Isn't the tree cool? Issa is such a wimp. You'll have to ask later <gasps> about the hand thing! What's up with the hand thing? The hand thing? What? You do the same gesture he does every time you talk to him at this time. Bring your hand up towards his shoulder, then sharply taking your hand back. Isabel looks at your gesture, confused. Then suddenly stills. Uh, um... Well, I'm- I- I was trying to touch your shoulder as, like, a bro thing. Huh? But, but I remember you don't like to be touched. I remember it been moved, so I didn't touch you. So it's okay. Sorry. He was trying to touch your shoulder? You're not sure how to react to this. Uh, uh, see, this is why I didn't do it. Because you do that face every time people try to touch you. I'm sorry. I try to remember, sorry. Okay, you're confused, but... It feels like he thinks you don't want to be touched. You don't want to think about this anymore. <sighs> uh, anyway. Yeah, some people's lo love language isn't touch, but... It says flirting! Hey, Stardust. How can I help you on this wonderful new loop? What should I do next? What you should do? Well, shouldn't you go to the house's library? You might find a way to survive the king's first attack. Remember, the library is on the second floor. It might be faster to just die and loop back there immediately. Don't forget to press Y while dead so you don't have to open any doors. Also, guys, I gotta mute real quick.
Sorry, my sister came in. I'm locked in. Hi, Emerald. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I did not have a 45 minute starting soon screen. My sister had to tell me a uh, drama. Okay, I'm locked in. Anything else? Well, I can't, like, just talk casually? Dang, I wanted a riz. They wave at you excitedly. You awkwardly wave back as you go. I gotta talk to the kids to get the picture and the flower again. And then I think we can go back. Or maybe I should... You know what? I think I should loop. And just go straight to the library section. Because I just want to see what the library is. I don't want to go through floor 1 and floor 2 again. Because there was a secret door in floor 1 and floor 3. Oh, wait, maybe no. I'll go back to floor 1, and if the secret door doesn't open, I'll just reset then. Peace and light, people cried. But either way, I want to get the flower, and give it to somebody else, and then get the drawing here. So cute. You got the friendship doodle. Wait, I just realized Issa despawned, so I can't give the flower to Issa. So I'll guess I'll give the flower to Mirabelle, since I already gave it to Bonnie. If I have to reset again, I'll avoid Bo and then give him the flower next time. Here's a flower for you. Oh! For me? Thank you, Sifrin! <laughs> this is a nice gift! I'll make sure to press it in a book so I can keep it forever! She seems happy. Oh, that was cute. You know, I guess Mirabelle would react positively. That doesn't surprise me. I bet Bo would just, like, explode on impact because he'd get so blushed and flushed. Isabel's whispering your name. Really, nothing new? But you don't know if you'll ever manage to beat the king. Can't you just tell me now? Well, no, it doesn't work like that, si- already you think about how far you still have to go before beating the king you fall asleep I love a slow burn romance but come on it's obvious that Bo likes us why can't we do anything why is Sifrin so clueless
I didn't know if that was the secret switch door room. I'm only doing this to see if I can get the secret door on floor one. It was a storage room, the shopkeep said. You didn't manage to beat the king earlier, but you feel a little stronger. You gained some XP. Sifrin is now level 60. I think it's funny, nobody's questioning, like, how high level I am. Like, everybody right now is probably, like, level 48 or 50 because we just respawned. Damn, everybody's so weak. You breathe in and out. 100 XP received. Yeah, I'm gonna run sometimes just so I dodge the low enemy or the low health enemies. I'm not gonna save. Because I don't want to override stats. Oh, the storage room. This one's unlocked though. Yeah, yeah. It's just a boulder, guys. No need to freak out. Now, where was... The door? Oh my god, it's so much easier to dodge the enemies now. Yeah, this one's not locked. Shoot. It's not a rock, it's a boulder. Whatever, dude. No importa, no me... No me importa. <laughs> All the same kind. Both are scary. Come on. so strong you breathe in and out 450 XP received Yeah, Odell can only attack one at a time.
Gonna heal myself first, and then the next person will attack. We'll be fine. Easy. You breathe in and out. 450 XP received. The door is locked tight. It's locked by one of those weird word locks. Say stored... Sta storage room room. You see the sentence, sa storage room room, aloud. The door unlocked. Good thing I checked here. What? Well, let's go inside then, huh? A hole in the wall. The hole doesn't bring you anywhere. It's a barrel. It's full of nothing. It's barrel. It's full of various nuts. Oh, there's enough stools for us all. Can I sit down? A stool. Guess not. It's a barrel. It's full of water. Some vials. Let's see. You got one ginger juice, one sweet tonic. You give it to Bonnie for safekeeping. Two salty broths. A statue of the change god. It's been destroyed. A bookcase is filled with many books written in many different languages. The Guardian, Poterian, Modu. One of them is written in a language you cannot read. Just looking at it is giving you a headache. A stool. The book. It's a Batarian Vagardian translation dictionary. It's open to a page of Vagardian words starting with a T. Taciturn. What does taciturn mean? It's someone who doesn't speak up very often, Boniface. Oh, like Frin. Okay. Yes, just like Sifrin. Hey. I speak up sometimes. Um. Not really, Sif. My teacher always says we gotta speak up more. You're an adult, so why don't you speak up more, stupid? Why don't you? You just don't have much to say. It's simpler to just let people talk. That's so real. I just don't have much to say. Huh. And it's nice to hear you all talk. Oh. Aww. That's cute. That's a lovely thing to say, Sifrin. Huh? It feels like we tamed a wild animal, doesn't it? Perfect analogy. Maybe soon we'll be able to pet them. Oh crap, stop. Just imagining him is making me emotional. Are they making fun of you? You hide your face under your hat. See? Now we went back to a shy, skittish animal. All this hard work, wasted. Face warm, you walk away. <laughs> yes, yes, we're coming. Okay, so just items here. I believe that was the only locked door in this floor. I forgot to check to the far left. Or to the far right. Oh yeah, to the far right I believe it was the tear path. After this fight, I kind of want to reset. Breathe in and out. 510 XP received. Yes, the cheer path. I'm touching it. 
The tear floats gently. Touch it. Yep. There's nothing else to discover in floor one. I just want to loop back to floor two. We reach out to the tear. You had a good sleep. Start again. Okay, so we're able to loop directly to the king fight. I do have to loop straight to floor two. Because we need to get the library secret. Loop number 12. You wake up. You dreamt you fell right through some stairs. Scary. We continue on. Are you ready? I'm ready. Alright. Let's go. Now to find the library. A desk. On it is a notebook titled... You found the crying key. Why is the key here again? This ain't the library, is it? I think this was just a normal classroom. Right now I'm clicking on the walls? Yeah, this would not be a library. It has desks. Okay, nothing here. God, I checked it, though. Oop. ourselves faster. Okay, the devil's a paper type. That means scissor attacks will work. Wait, it resisted paper. That means it's a scissor type, but it did a paper move. Yes, yeah, so we need to do rock attacks on the devil. paper type. Whatever. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. You know, there's only three types and I still can't figure it out. Oop. I forgot this guy was here.
when I drop something off my chest with my foot. <laughs> I kick my desk. <laughs> it scared me so much. This game really is scamming. You breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. The door is locked. I didn't respawn properly. I forgot to press Y when I respawned. I forgot. That's annoying. Oh. Okay, after this fight, I'll respawn again with the keys unlocked. Your 50 XP received. Dude, how did I forget the keys again? Dude, just let me. Let me reset. Oh, wait, also, I forgot to run an ad. Oopsie. We're an hour in. Fuck. Get boomed. Omega Dance. Dude, I'm off my groove. First I forgot the keys, then the end. Okay, now I gotta reset and get the keys. Yes, looping time. I forgot. You had a good sleep. Start again. Okay, floor two with the keys. With all doors opened, yes. Ideal meal. You wake up. You dreamt you were eating a samosa as big as your head. You're hungry. I cannot believe myself. Okay, the library could have been to the right, but I'm not sure.
Okay, they're weak to scissors. That means the devil is a paper tag. Breathe in and out. Beverage and XP received. But yeah, this was like a, a dorm room. I think this just was lore. This was the open phrase one, two, three door. Yeah, this is not the library. I think down here was a kitchen. Oops. Breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Odell is now level 50. Yeah, this is not the library. <laughs> Caught. Devil's another paper tape. So sad. Oh, that was kind of a sleeper character, but they're definitely the strongest on the team. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Okay, running is so much nicer. I don't want to have auto run on. Because, you know, I want to enjoy the environments. But it makes dodging so much easier. I have no clue.
You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. That was their office, not the library, I believe. Oh no. Hopefully I don't have to warp to the beginning of floor 2. Breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Isabel is now level 50. Oh, the, the wall is sparkling. Okay, thank goodness. The librarian doorman mentioned a secret library, didn't they? Huh. Ain't no way. Yeah, hidden switch. This one is very well hidden. If you were certain there was a switch there, you would have never noticed it. What? What in the gems? Secret passage! But how? How did you- I just touched it and it opened. That's so weird. Was it here all this time? You go ahead. Nice. I tried to dodge. I wanted to see look at the crack in the wall. Maybe it's another secret passage. Paper time, so easy, scissor time. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. The hole in the wall. The hole doesn't really bring you anywhere. Books with no titles. A pile of lists of checked out books. Odell is looking intently at the list. Madame Odell? We should get going. Oh. So now that I'm looking at something, we should hurry up. Huh? Whoa. Uh, I'm... I'm sorry? We, um... Dial. Are you mad at us? No. No, I... Sorry. We can keep going. A pile of lists of checked out books. Drama! The bookcase is filled with books about something called colors. None of them catch your eye. The bookcase is filled with moldy old books. One of them is written in a language you cannot read. It has a big sparkly tree on the cover. Just looking at the title is giving you a headache. We got drama there. The book The bookcase is filled with some books about craft skills. The librarian said you might find something here to protect you against the king. You look closely at the books in this section. Sifrin? Are you looking for something in particular? Might as well get the book lovers on this too. How do you craft shields? Like shields in battle? To protect ourselves? It would be useful, wouldn't it? We have skills to boost our defense, but a shield would be cool. I... I was thinking about learning, and I feel like I'm close to getting it, but I'm not there yet. 
Sorry. This book here is called Shields and it's super dusty. Dusty books are good, right? Bonnie gives Mirabelle the book. Well, that's not how it works, but... Wait. Wait a second. That's all? That's how you do it? Ah. Oh. oh, this sounds fun. So then, if I do this, and if I keep this in mind, and don't forget about this... Mirabelle mumbles under her breath for a long time. Okay, so... Sifrin, do not move. I'm about to try a highly volative craft skill on you that I've never tried before. Um... You slowly open your eyes. Your body feels like it's covered in a warm blanket. Suddenly, Bonnie punches you in the stomach. Owie! Sifrin, did you feel something? You didn't feel a thing. You give Mirabelle a thumbs up. Crab, yeah! Mirabelle learned adorable moving shield. Stardust, you did it. Your little housemaid now knows adorable moving shield. When crafted, it creates a shield that protects your allies from a time stop and slow for three turns. It also boosts defense. You can try to beat the king again now. Make sure to use this skill to survive, okay? Oh, wait. So it guards every single ally. So if I would have done a guard right before the gang attack, I would have lived? Well, that's nice and all, but... Ooh, do I want to be mean? No, I, I, I'm not going to be mean. Don't mention it. It's annoying, but she knows it now. There is something you need to ask, though. What made it click, then? Oh, that's easy! It's all about... Mirabelle suddenly bombards you with technical terms. And that's how you do it! I did not even understand a little bit of this. Hmm. I couldn't craft a skill like that myself, but... It's just about using the carrot method, right? Is it? I guess that makes some sort of sense. It is! They actually mention it here, too! What's the carrot method? What's the carrot method? If you don't know the carrot method, you don't need to know the carrot method. You sure feel stupider than usual, this loop. So, uh... So hypothetically, someone reminding you of the carrot method would make it click for you? Yes! Well, there you go. The skill is not an equipable skill. That means she will remember it forever as long as we bring up carrots. So should I die? Hmm. Oops. I should at least go back to the end of floor two and make a save point. Since we did level up a little bit here. combo for this enemy. Yeah! 
There we go, finally! Second time beating the ticking enemy. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. Mirabelle is now level 49. Wait, clean. Okay, I've saved. I waited for that enemy to walk away. Now I'm gonna reset. I kinda wanna go straight to the king, see what happens. Touch it, yes. You reach out to the tear. Oh seven. A tear froze you in time. Start again. I'm going straight to the king. Cost 10 glimmers? Damn. Loop 14. You wake up. You dreamt you fell right through some stairs. Scary. Carrots. We're asking if they're okay. Yeah, I can't bring up carrots. Maybe I talk to her again? Too refined. <laughs> nope. That was a side conversation. Oopsie. I can't go back. Yeah, I'd rather keep the unfreeze here. How do I bring up the carrot, though? Well, let's just go again. What's the worst that could happen, right? Right? It's weird how there's tears all throughout this corridor. Oh, that's new dialogue. I skipped it. Oopsie. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you? <laughs> no, that is not how it works, does it? We shall fight, and we shall see which side the universe favors. Now I gotta figure out a way to bring up carrots. Is that not for this part? Yeah, might as well. There's just dialogue. 
Get ready, everyone. He's about to attack. I'm gonna guard. The king waits. Oh yeah, he skips his turn. Where is our defense? Slow down the king. She does have the moving shield perk. Creates a shield that protects allies from time stop and slow. Boost defense. But how long though? I'll do that now. Now I think I can craft as normal. And I'll build up a rock combo. Booster attack. And I'm gonna give my turn to Isabeau so that way Isabeau can do a rock attack and we'll get the combo before the king attacks. Watch this. Nice. Oh. Oh. It is time, saviors. You see a vision of the future. Oh. We survived it. Everyone okay? Oh. Oh. You're still here. Good. Let us fight to the death, then. Okay. Okay. This is workable. This is manageable. I wonder how long the guard lasts. Hmm. I'm gonna build up a scissor combo next. Or maybe a paper combo. I'll do a paper combo next. Because bow... And Mirabel half paper. There's a five turn cooldown. And then whenever the king gets close to filling the gauge, we have to guard. Your following turn, I have to guard. Healing Mirabelle. Okay, the big guard lasts two turns. The Cifrin and Bo both lost their guards. Oh no! Uh oh. Odell has to keep guarding, that way they don't lose the guard. The king cries. Oh, that was just normal attack. Okay, dub. Giving my turn to Odile. That way we can keep the paper combo going. This is doable.
He's weak to paper. Okay. Nice. Oh. Oh. The king cries and cries and cries. Tears appear to protect the king. Why? Why won't you understand? Why won't you understand? Crying still, huh? Glad you're expressing your emotions and everything very healthy. Learn to read the room. Stop crying. Stop crying. Just stop crying. You can't. You hurt so many people. People won't ever move again unless we beat you. My guard, my village, my sister. They're all frozen in time because of you. You don't have the right to cry. The king doesn't answer. I was gonna say, let Bonnie get a hit in. Come on. I'm gonna guard. Two turns left for moving shield, so that means everybody's gonna guard. But Mirabel should be fine. Well, everybody's healed. Let's see. I don't want to lose the paper combo. I'm only going to do paper moves. Yeah, no other buffs I can really do, so I think best bet, guard. Again. The king's tier gives the king strength. You need to guard. Guard again! The king shakes slow off and attacks. Okay, so the tears increase his, I assume, attack power. I think I just need to focus on making sure everybody's fully healed and then gradually building up paper combos. So done heal to Odell, because Odell has the most paper moves. And Zifrin just lost their guard. Cries. Lucky. And I'll have paper three or paper alpha. So just regular paper attack here. Okay, everybody lost their guard. But I think on this next turn, Mirabel should be able to do the the heal. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um. Sifrin, you're gonna guard! We all didn't die, right? Okay. First, I think we need to bring back Mirabelle. And then heal. Yeah, next turn will be Sifrin. Sifrin does still have a guard. Oh no, I. Should I guard? I should guard here. Just so I live for sure.
guard here just so I live? Percent HP just so they can take a hit, hopefully. Man, I need to slow the king down for sure. Okay, first I need to revive Sifrin. Next turn is gonna be next turn is gonna be bow, so then we'll do the sh guard shield against Mirabelle. Or Mirabelle does guard shield. You don't wanna fight anymore. No! I do! Oh, it's Sifrin's turn. Gun heal to Mirabelle. We need to keep her alive. I think we'll be quicker than the king, so Mirabelle should be able to do the guard move before he hits us. I need to get a hit in. Just so we can build up the paper combo. So just regular base paper attack. Oh yeah, Mirabel will get the guard move in. Paper RV or paper alpha five. Mirabel does the moving shield. Now we're good. Hopefully. Man, we got so many debuffs. <laughs> This is my last revive. The king is faster than us. Dang. You don't have the strength to go on. The king got you again. You'd forgotten the pain, but at least you can move a little this time. Stars, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. You try to speak. Ani? Run away. Silence. And then footsteps. Come on, you useless body! Move! Bonnie ran away. Bonnie must be safe now. And so, before the king strikes, you let go. The king killed you. Start again. Okay, hmm. 
I don't know how much help leveling would do. Now that I know that the king is weak to paper, I'll just start off with paper from the jump. I think what I might need to do... Oh, man, I can't backtrack, though. Because I can't go back to floor one and floor two to get items. I mean, I could. But then I'd have to re-level naturally again. <sighs> it probably is best that way I naturally level up to warp. To end of floor three. Because you can't buy items, you just have to find them. I'm not sure. Maybe even warp to floor two. There's also the skill that lowers the, um, I think it was either a bow or an odile skill that can reduce the time or the amount of turns it takes for an ally to use a skill. I'll warp to the end of floor three just to see what it's like. Man. Oh, scary. You don't remember telling anyone telling you that dying was so scary. Okay, dude. earlier, but you feel a little stronger. You gained some XP. Hmm, I wonder if we keep spawning at floor 3, and then we level up, we level up, and then we save at the king's entrance. That way, when we spawn at the king's entrance, we'll still have the, the, yeah, the highest HP, or the highest leveling. Yeah, I think I'll try that. Guys, get cozy, it's gonna be a grind. I don't want to look at the walkthrough until, like, I'm genuinely stoked. I think I just need to get better at, like, strategizing for that fight. is now level 61. Odal is now level 52. I'm gonna look at everybody's skills. Brace defense. I think it was Odal who had it. Items restore more HP. What do these skills do? I wish it would tell me. Craft break, craft buff. Well, I guess I can equip it now. That way, when I'm doing like the random grunt battles, I can see what it does. Craft buff. Let's see what that is. keys on this floor, though. What am I doing? Did I do it wrong again? Wait, did I fuck up? <laughs> I think 
I didn't get the keys again. <laughs> One ally is resistant to a craft type for a few turns. Okay, that's done. craft break. I think I got... Did I lose the keys? Am I stupid? it froze Oda, the one character I wanted to see. <laughs> you breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Oh yeah, the keys are unlocked. I guess just the final key respawns. Okay. Okay, well that's fine then. Uh, oh, I was confused. Equip it, do you still remember the skill? Your Maribel has the guard skill still memorized. No, they only remember the one they have equipped. Okay. Hmm. So I just need to figure out which was the skill that reduces the turn wait period. Was an Odell. I think it was Bo. Oh, not over yet. Yeah, that is one that I haven't seen. I think not over yet is a defense one, though. The same bathroom we went to already? <laughs> Seems so. Wait, how do they remember now? 
Wait, they're not supposed to remember. Well, you have a way to defense your- Well, you have a way to defend yourself against the king, but you're still having trouble, aren't you? The king is so much stronger than you anticipated. Why is he so powerful? What made him this way? You've seen him a couple of times now. A couple more and you might know his opening dialogue by heart. He keeps asking if you remember. Remember what? Is there something you've forgotten that he knows about? Do we, does it have something to do with the loops, perhaps? Does he remember you? That doesn't matter right now. You just need to find a way to beat him. Maybe you can find ways to get stronger inside the house. Battle more sadnesses? That key knife you got. If you manage to keep it intact, it might help you against the king. And tonics. You can't forget tonics. If you went from the first floor of the house and walked all the way through the top, picking up items as you went through, it might help you survive a little bit longer. Just a tiny bit more. One hit more. Until you win. Endless tries. Thanks, universe change God. Someone. Anyone. Thank you for this blessing. You'll be okay. You exit the bathroom. That was weird. They remembered going in the bathroom, too. So they, they did say the same thing I thought, where you go through all the levels and get heals, but that's kind of like... A lot. That's a lot. I would only do that if I was like really, really desperate. And then they also said find a way to keep the knife. But the knife, like, it's destroyed an impact. Hmm. Maybe there's, like, another spell or craft I have to do that makes, like, weapons invincible. Hi, Vic. Welcome back. You came just in time for an ad! Because, guys, we're two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $5.99, just $6, skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free in a way. Don't worry, we're beating this game today, surely. Also, my voice is fucked. Good thing Vic is a tier 2. You know, I've never said this, but tier 2s, like, doubly avoid the ads. Mm-hmm. Also, one more hour till I have to take my lunch break. Whew. Okay, I'm locked in. Let's see what I need to do. I don't think getting the heals is really gonna help that much. Oh, in the save, we've already been here. Okay. Madame, are you saying Sif was wrong to bring us all the way back to a room? We already searched, top to bottom. Because there's only one thing here? Madame, you're so weird. An intact statue of the Change God. This is the only intact statue in the house, so you can see its face clearly. You look at it a little closer. You stick your tongue out in disgust. The statue's face looks awful. Can noses look like that? Wow, that left eye is somehow above the right brow. I can't tell if they're supposed to be smiling or frowning. Mira, Mira, help us roast this statue's terribly made face. They're being mean. Mira? Oh no. Ah. Uh oh. I was trying to make them look gentle and nice. Oh, Mira, we're so sorry. Sorry we said your statue sucked. No, it's fine. I'll get my revenge against you all someday. You all shudder. So Mirabelle made this statue. Interesting that it's the only one that wasn't destroyed. You know very little about the change god, and the statues of them you can find everywhere in Vagard. Maybe you should look at the statues inside the house when you have the time. This was the only intact one though. So I have to touch them all again? girl 
They want me to restart from the beginning, don't they? They really want me to. statue here. Oh, that's her dresser. <laughs> okay, so I guess every time you reload, you don't re-pick up the items. So it truly could be worthwhile to go through all the floors again. But I don't want to. Oh, there's a statue in there. Yeah, no new dialogue. It could be worthwhile to re- like, to go save and then reset and talk to the star person again. And I didn't learn the word code for here. Leave the door alone. There's also probably a way for us to learn the secret language. So I think I'm going to go back and save. And then respawn. I've returned and the same thing happened? Like, in game or in life? I'm confused. But hi Marceline, welcome back. I saved. At work, they didn't drop the chicken again. You know what? Someone needs to be fired. and have the sparkly icon next to their image. That was weird. see if I can equip that special knife. Breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Maribel is now level 51. Damn it!
No, I didn't mean a guard. That was a misclick. I wanted to look at my items. Oh, the salty broth reduces cooldown. Oh! I thought it was a skill, it's an item! Okay, okay. So we'll need to use the bras on Mirabelle whenever she's at a guard. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Okay, okay. That was like the one thing I didn't check earlier. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Okay, the last thing I want to check is equipping the weapons. Oh, I can't equip that special weapon. The needle sword increases my defense, but lowers my attack. I think that's fine. I'd rather have greater defense. Mega Sparkle Heal is good, but it's probably better to just use an item. Guard also protects against freezing. I'd rather have the skill Shining Life. That way I can revive and not waste an item. Because the revives are the hardest to find. Break break does. But I'd rather increase his stats. Because I don't use this as like status moves as much. Boost attack, but one cooldown on all craft skills. I don't need that. Boost attack and grid chance, but lowers defense. Boost defense and attack speed. I'd rather have that. Memory of tonics, that way heals work better. Okay, I think I have the ideal, like, build for the team now. Okay, I've saved. I think I want to reset and talk to the star guy. Looping time. Reach out to the tier. You had a good sleep. Start again. Because I want to see if they tell me something about how to keep the weapon. You wake up. You jumped your reading of Samosa as big as your head. You're hungry.
You tell Mirabel about the Kara method. Whatever it is, so she'll be able to cast it. Oh, this makes so much sense! Mirabel learned the craft skill Adorable Moving Shield. Again. You wave goodbye. Okay, so either way, you always remember it, no matter where you spawn, as long as you Like, as long as you learned it, you always have the Miracle Casting spell. Okay, cool! What if we pray to the Change God again? You approach the Change God statue. It's still here, looking down at you. Would the Change God be mad if you got a blessing again? Would it know? You believe strongly or whatever. That attacks against you will be super weak. Your hits will super hurt or you'll be super fast. We need to increase defense. Best offense is a good defense. You win it? You win if you and your friends are the only ones standing. You repeat under your breath super strong, super strong, super strong. You actually feel a little stronger. You pinch yourself. Oh. Okay, then not that much more powerful. You and your allies' defense got boosted a little. Once per loop, you can go to the Change God statue and boost one of your stats. The effect of the statue will be reset every time you go back to Dormont. So every time you loop back here, don't forget to go to the Change God statue, okay? You close your eyes. Okay, so no matter what I pray and change, it saves no matter where I spawn, I assume. Wow. Okay, that's enough for this loop. You think the Change God for its blessing and quickly run away. You approach the Change God statue. You close your eyes. Oh, it's just a save point, okay. You think the Change God for its blessing and quickly run away. <laughs> Back to enjoying the game! Well, I cook! I'm glad you're here, Marceline. You know, I watch so many- or not watch, but like, I listen to so much, like, YouTube and streams when I was working. It's, it kind of reminds me of, like, radio a little bit. You should talk to Isabel first. I don't want to! Wait, why is the- Why is the star person not here? What the fuck? Hi, Issa. I need to do the favor tree thing. Oh. Sorry I'm on my way then, aren't you? I'll get out of your hair. See you at the clock tower. Oh. I could have given Issa the flower, I forgot. Hey, you stardust. Huh. It takes you a lot of time, doesn't it, to loop back and talk to me? It sure does. It it's fine, though. Is it? It's fine. Uh-huh. But, huh. I wonder if... Yeah, that's a good idea. How about I teach you a special craft skill, so you can talk to me wherever? A craft skill to talk to Loop even when you're not near them. That seems impossible. Only because you don't know the specific handshape for it. Yes, Stardust. A fourth handshape. So you can talk to me whenever. Are you interested? A fourth handshape. If anyone would know about this, it'd be someone like Loop. You nod. Great. All right. Are you ready? You nod again. So, take your hand and make a fist. Then, you're going to raise your thumb and little finger. Raise thumb. Raise little finger. Shaka. And keeping your hand in that shape, you're gonna... <laughs> it's a... It's a telephone. And keeping your hand in that shape, you're going to put your hand next to your face, with the thumb to your ear, and little finger to your mouth. That's the secret handshape no one knows about. Interesting. You've never heard about this, but you have a bad memory. You may have just forgotten it. And then, the very last step. There's more? There is, Stardust. You just have to think very loudly. Boy. I sure wish I could talk to Loop right now. 
Now that part just sounds silly. Haha. <laughs> yes. That's definitely the silly part of this ritual. And that's it. Now, you can call me whenever. Well, mostly whenever. It might not work sometimes, especially if you get too far. And we won't be able to chat very long or anything, so you'll still need to come whenever you want a breather or need to chat. But now, I can help you out and give you hints whenever. Or, if you want to put it another way, you've just learned the skill Call Loop. You can call me anytime to get some precious hints. To call me, just go to your craft menu and select Call Loop. Easy as pie. Ow. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Now that you're here though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? What should I do next? What should you do? Well, you've got it, Stardust. All you have to do is beat the king. If you're not strong enough, you can always fight sadnesses to gain power. Make sure your friends are leveled up too. Come on, Stardust. You can do it. I believe in you. Anything else? No, I'm good. See you later, Stardust. They wave at you excitedly. You awkwardly wave back as you go. Okay, that was not the answer I wanted. Since I'm here... I might as well go through everything again. Get all the items. That way, whenever I do get to the end, I'll have the max amount of items. And then when I get back to 4 or 3, I just level. Because it seems like that's what I have to do. They did say... They implied that there's a way to, like, not have my weapon break. The secret weapon that the craft statue gave me, but I'm not sure about that, honestly. I'm not sure. I did raise my ally's defense on this loop, though. So I think on this attempt, it is kind of worthwhile to go back and get everything again. But this is the only time I'll do it. So guys, get cozy. We're playing the whole fucking game again. Yeah, I can't do, like, no tasks without listening to any type of background sound or music. It's kind of bad. But it does help me distract from, like, intrusive thoughts. Okay, let's go again. Do you have any books about time? Time? Well, uh, have a book about clocks somewhere? Not really what you're looking for. You let it go. Dang. Okay, so we gotta go through everything again. And then if I see a changed statue, I should interact with it. How's stream been? It's been chill. But I just learned I'm gonna have to play the whole game again. So, it's okay though. Well, because I need to win this fight. Oh wait, it's already moved. Okay, we'll get the flower and we'll give it to Odile. If we give the flower to Issa, he'll, like, confess to us for real. Okay, I'm gonna give the flower to Odile, and then I'll reset again. And then we'll go play the game over again. Oh my god, why? Well, the narrator, like, implies that 
you have to play through floor one, two, and three all again to level up properly and keep all your items. So you know what? If I have to do it, I'll do it. It'll only take me like four hours. Fuck it. Um, here's a flower for you, Odile. For me. Where did that come from? Well, nonetheless, thank you, Sifrin. It's not like you to be so thoughtful, so I'll definitely keep it as proof. Proof of what? Well, anyway, she seems happy. Man, I wanna give a flower to Izzah. I'm resetting. Here we go. Dude, imagine you come this far and a banana peel takes you out. You slipped on a banana peel. Start again. Yep, yeah, back to Dormont. Okay. Shit. Loop number 17, my favorite number! Oh my god! The banana killed you again. We have to not die in this loop. 17 is my favorite number. How sick would it be if I beat the game on loop number 17? We taught her about the carrots. giving flowers away huh have you looked around my house i cannot get rid of those fast enough that's why everyone in dormont has some too and it's just nice isn't it to be able to give physical proof of your love to people wait love it is good luck tomorrow we're all counting on you is he implying that i love is a are we? We're kind of like Spider-Man, you know, the kids draw us and shit. I'm gonna make sure to get all the souvenirs. So basically, I'm gonna go through every single room again. Whenever you warp back to Dormont, it resets. Okay. I want defense. Oops. I didn't save. to talk to Issa! Isabel's here, probably pondering a favor to ask the tree. Hey, Issa. Sif! Oh, if you say I need to do the tree thing, he just walks away. Okay. nice dialogue because I want my friends to remember me kindly 
He raises his hand towards his shoulder. You get it now. This is him trying to touch you. You freeze. His hand is in the air and gets closer. Closer. Grab his hand! His hand abruptly stops above your shoulder and goes back to his side. Huh. That was funny. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree, but do you want to talk before I go? Man, so close. Um, Issa? Here's a flower for you. A, a what? A flower. For me. You're the only one here, Issa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isabel takes the flower and cradles it gently in his hands. Oh, he's so cute! Uh, thanks, Sif. I... I'll treasure it forever. He seems happy. Oh, he's so cute! Now when we sleep together, he's gonna confess. He has to! Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Back off my man. I am not Sifrin. Don't worry. Guys, we're playing the whole game again. Get cozy. This is the way to the clock tower, but even if you don't have to go talk to everyone again, you can still talk to Loop and hear what they have to say. Go talk to Loop? Okay, fine, I'll talk to Loop. I've never seen you and Sifrin in the same room. Caught. Loop must have something new to say. And if Loop doesn't, I'm gonna be really mad. Making me run all the way across town. Hey, Stardust. How can I help you on this wonderful new loop? There is nothing new. I went all the way back here for nothing. Loop has nothing new to say. It's been so long since you've been outside. Yeah, I've been stuck in the house for years and years. All this resetting, I don't know what's real or not. Okay, give me a new bow cutscene. Stay with you, Mira, for as long as you can. Isabel's whispering your name. The thing I have to tell you is that I... Oh, I don't have anything to tell you right now, but I will. When, um, we beat the king tomorrow. Why can't you just tell me now? <gasps> Come on! No, no! <laughs> no new cutscene. I even gave him a flower and everything! You guys want to hear an embarrassing story? Senior year of high school. I confessed to a guy. He was my friend at the time. I did this really cute thing. I asked him if he wanted to go on a date. And I gave him a red rose. And then he was like, okay, sure. Okay, peace in. And then... 
I, w- I don't know what was wrong with me. I didn't, like, follow up to, like, plan the date. So then a month later, he was like, yeah, I just didn't go out with you because you didn't, like, plan it. I was like, well, I was waiting for you to, like, text me back. Like, what the frick? And then it didn't work out. We never dated. It was awkward the rest of the school year because I confessed at the very start of the year. But looking back, he was kind of a, a dick, so it would not have been good either way. <laughs> But I literally gave him a red rose. It was so cute. How did he not know? It was clueless. Oh, wait, maybe it was the end of the year. Wait, it had to be like April because that's when the roses bloom. I lied. It was not the beginning of the year. Man, you know, I had, com- I had some confidence, but I wasn't too confident. Okay, guys, we're playing the whole game again. Get cozy. Here again. Did you do a prom proposal? No. It was after prom, I think. But I didn't I didn't like dances. The only people who went to the dances were like the popular kids, and I was not that. Damn, old Al is such low HP. If I was in the proms, I would have made the best prom proposal ever. I don't know what I would do, but I know I would be a tryhard about it. You breathe in and out. 100 XP received. Okay, I'm gonna go to my settings and do auto run now because I don't think there's much dialogue anymore. Do I need a cheat sheet? No. Why weren't you in Queso's chat yesterday? I was gonna tag you. <laughs> I was watching on my TV. Uh, sometimes when you watch Twitch on the TV, you don't count as a viewer. Or you're not in like the viewers list. Because if you watch Twitch on desktop, you can see who's watching a stream if you go to settings and then look at users and chat. But if you're watching on the TV, sometimes you don't count. Like, not saying you should not watch on the TV, but sometimes it does not count as a viewer. I don't know why. Because I tested it with like an alt account, or my it was my roommate's account, we were watching on his account on the TV and we were looking at like the users list on desktop and his user wasn't in the active watching list. I never watch on TV, W. No, Twitch on the TV is nice, the UI is kind of an L, but it's really- I think it's fine for what it is. Okay, we're battling every single enemy I see. Oh wait, no, I should speed run through the floors and then grind in level 3. My sister's so funny, she she like knows of Queso, but she doesn't watch the stream. So like, sometimes I'll put like a Queso video on the TV or a stream on the TV. So she kind of like knows him now. But um... She would be like, okay, I want to watch Queso, and then she pulls up like a Queso kitty compilation of like him just holding his cat up. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> She's like, I just like his cat. For context, my sister's current special interest is cats. She's obsessed still, and it's been like almost a year and a half. When I get my million dollar mansion, we're gonna get a million cats. But I'm not gonna get a, a cat that's been bred. 
Only shelter kit. We're not allowed to have cats in our unit. And my mom hated cats and dogs, so we never had a pet like that. When we were younger, we did have a rabbit. But no cat, no dog. She would have loved 20, 2008 internet. True. The ne the Nyan cat? Is that what it's called? With the rainbow Bokhtar cat? Okay, I don't like the auto run, actually. I'm turning it off. I like holding down dash. Peace and line, people cried. Speed run ruined. Someone on my volleyball team? You playing volleyball? <laughs> sorry. When I- Sorry. <laughs> when I think volleyball, I think Haiku. And Haiku is gay as shit. Like, in a, in a good way. Haiku? Like, the anime. You haven't seen Hayoko? You would like it. It's shown in sports? And it's a very, like, happy manga and anime. There's not a lot of, like, angst. How to spell it? Haya. Well, it's Japanese, so it's Hayaku. I, I say Hayaku, but it's Hayaku. Like a y sound? At the end, not a ku. I just say it wrong. Hi, Akiu. In a way. It's almost like I've seen that boulder more than three times. Okay, the first key was to, to the right. network does them, but it's like one guy and they have to choose between like 20 different girls. <laughs> no, I could, I could never date an influencer. No, not The Bachelor. It's like, didn't Moist Critical do a, a video like this? Not The Bachelor. <laughs> The bachelors are where they like live together and shit, which I think is crazy. Breathe in and out. 200 XP received. Uh, let's go heal.
Clean! Koniko was on a dating show. And one of the girls' talent was saying the last airbender intro. <laughs> Imagine, I'm sorry, but like if that is like your peak, find a new hobby. <laughs> it was not a dating show? No, I mean like a fake, all dating shows you see on TV and online are fake. They're all fake. He reacted to it? Oh, never mind. I misinterpreted. I never watched Cody Co. But you know what I'll say it? L. I had a fun conversation about macaroni and cheese with a guy while he was eating some gouda. Wait, you let him eat it before he bought it? Isn't that like illegal? Okay, I don't want that word on my screen, Ethan. I know that's contextual, but like I don't want that. In my chat. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm surprised Automod didn't catch that one, Twitch Dad. Not if I give the customer a sample. Oh, I thought... Okay, something that, like, pisses me off so much that I felt so strongly about for the longest time was watching people eat food, like, in checkout or as they're walking through the grocery store. Because I would be like, why are you eating it before you buy it? That's kind of stealing. Like, I know you're gonna buy it, but still, like, wait. Also, it's probably, like, super insanitary to do that. Because you're touching all the shit in the store, and then you probably didn't sanitize your hands. You're probably eating all the germs you touch in the store. Anyway, I, I didn't understand why people did it. But then, I saw one comment on, like, a YouTube video of, like, somebody complaining about it. And they were like, well, what if they're diabetic? Or, like, what if they have low blood sugar? And I was like, oh. That's actually valid then. I'll stop hating. Because, <laughs> like, I didn't think about that. And then, that was like the catalyst moment in my brain where I decided to not immediately judge people for minuscule or, yeah, for minuscule actions. Because more often than not, there's probably a reason why they do it. Maybe it's not always because they're being an asshole or they're a dick. Like, there's probably an underlying reason as to why they may do a certain thing. Oops. Okay, I don't remember the route for this floor at all. All I know is that I had to go right first. so slow. It could be worthwhile for these lower floors to change my equipped perks. Because I don't use heals until the final king fight anyway, so I might as well just swap out what I have equipped. My ex used to do that until... And I was wondering why she did until she explained to me why. Yeah, it's like... You don't really understand if you don't have it explained to you, I guess. And that applies to so many different things. That's why, in general, I think short form content is really bad. Because more often than not, you can't explain everything in 60 seconds. And there's so much, like, rage bait and content that, like, makes you comment and makes you get angry and makes you engage with it. 
And it's all because of, like, people making assumptions when they have very little information. I do it because I don't respect multi-million dollar companies. Wait, based. <laughs> based. <laughs> nah, my mom, when I was little, she convinced my sister and I that, like, the security guards would, like, arrest us if we, like, opened shit early. So, I just, I just didn't. Attack speed up. I don't think I'll change bows as well. Defense up at start of battle. I will change these at the very end. So I have to check every single room again. And every closet as well. Shit, there's so much to do. Millions in wage theft means we can all steal with a clear conscience, just don't get caught. You know, uh, how, what should I say? Mm -hmm. Every single company a lots of part of their budget for lost product, right? So that can mean theft, it can mean like things getting lost in transit, or like things getting broken. Like it's part of their budgets usually, they usually plan for loss in product. No, I'm not saying people should, you know, cop shit. But... I think it's really sad when people have to steal, like, steal essentials like food or baby so powder? Baby powder? Baby formula. Like, people should not have to take those. Those should just be given to us. I've only seen one person steal. And it was at my previous workplace. It was Subway. It was a guy. I was sitting in the lobby on my break, so I was near the front door. And then... Oh shit, I don't have the... Fuck! I don't have the paper alpha equipped because I'm... Oh, that's so... Maybe they'll like relearn the perch naturally since I'm at the very start. Anyway, so like I was on my break, somebody was ordering a sandwich, and then right before he got to the register, like when the sandwich is almost done, he like ran out with a bag of chips and bolted out the door. And it was like, bro, you just he took a bag of chips. Like what? Like you went through so much effort just to cop a bag of chips. It was crazy. Target security don't play around. Oh, I, I don't like going to Target no more. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being watched. And like, at my location, there it, there always seems to be like a cop parked right outside the door. I don't get it. Did he reach over the counter and grab some extra toppings? That would be really funny. That would be really funny. Oh, sadness! But I think most subway locations have, like, the, the line, and then they have the clear glass, so it's kind of hard to, like, you know, stick your hand in there for some stores. Because I think with the new subway rebrandings, they have, like a, like, a glass panel that lifts up, and then some of the old locations that aren't remodeled just have lids on top of the containers. We literally pay people to sit and watch people on cams. I would never steal. I would never steal. The only thing that I did steal, but not really steal, and I've said this before, 
okay? This is not new lore. You know, we go to the Dollar Tree and they have the floral section. And you know how there's like sometimes flowers on the ground? Like sometimes like people pick up the flower bouquet, put it back, and then like a single flower or a leaf is on the floor. So at that point, nobody's gonna pick it up. Nobody's gonna buy a single flower. It's just discarded. So little like five-year-old me, on my mom's weekly trips to the Dollar Tree, I would pick up all of the little uh, discarded single flowers on the floor and I put them in my pocket. So I had like a whole pile of flowers at home, but without the little branches and stuff. The flowers on the ground are free? That's what I'm saying. But that was the only thing that I kind of technically stole. But not really. Dude, our team is so weak. Editor, you can just cut out like today's whole fucking stream. You breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. You got the star crest. Oops. Well, I need to level anyway, so I, I should not be avoiding enemies right now. What's my favorite Spongebob episode? The Pretty Patties one. For sure. I kind of want to watch every single Spongebob episode, but there's just so many. It'd be, like, impossible to sit down and watch them. No, I healed the wrong person! Fuck. I think the most Spongebob I've seen is, like, parts of season five. Because we had the DVD set for seasons one, two, and three. And then the rest I would just see, like, sometimes on TV if I went to my neighbor's house because they were the only one who had cable. Ain't no way a key. I'm not saying that. I hate that. That's my least favorite dialogue in the entire game. Did you guys know? This game is based off of a comic. I didn't have cable, so I would go to my grandma's house every weekend. Yeah. You know, my grandma, she lives in Hawaii, so like, we never- we didn't get to see her often. But when we were little, because we'd only go for like, weddings or funerals, we would always want to stay home and watch TV. Because <laughs> she had like, every single channel! And all I had was PBS, which PBS is kind of lit, but... It's nothing compared to like, actual cable.
Ooh, what were my favorite shows? It had to be Austin and Allie, mainly because I shipped them so much, and I didn't even know what shipping culture was. And then Hannah Montana for sure. My mom did not like Disney Channel. She, that This is why she didn't want to buy cable for us. Because she's like, all the kids talk back so much, you're going to get an attitude. You're going to become a bad kid if you watch the Disney Channel. Which, I could get why she thought that, but... <laughs> like, Disney Channel's pretty tame. <laughs> she was like, I don't want you guys to learn to talk back. And I was like, okay. Wanna go to the beach? No TV. Well, the thing is, whenever we did go to Hawaii, we would stay for like two, three weeks. So we would go to the beach like every other day. And there's only so many beaches. Like once you see one, you've seen them all. But this was back when I was like fucking 10. I didn't know any better. Now, I would be so happy to live in Hawaii. But then I also understand that like, people moving to Hawaii is not good either. But technically, I have family there, so like I think it's kind of okay. But you know what? A, what is not okay? Watching ads, because guys, we are three hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some more ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for five ninety nine to six dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long, or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Yeah, I would do the same thing, Marceline. Not gonna lie, it was my favorite part about visiting my grandma. <laughs> but that was only when I was little. Also, it's 1 p.m. I gotta have my lunch. Today is the Atkins Not Sponsored Mocha Latte Coffee Protein Shake. This has 30% of your daily protein, 15 grams, 11% of your daily fiber, a lot of sodium and a lot of fat, but you know, I gotta eat something. Storage room. Um. W. Sequence where it said to talk to the statue again. Maybe I've meant to change my perk at the statue, because I think... I don't remember what I chose at the very beginning. It was either attack or defense. I think I might have chosen defense. Somebody look it up. Watch back the first VOD. Caramel latte better. I think I've been in this room already? Yeah, I have. It's hard to remember where I've been now that I've backtracked.
Easy. You breathe in and out. 510 XP received. Which mobile updates so bad? What I did notice they changed is when you click on the sidebar to look at your following list, you can now sort, similar to like as you can on desktop, by recommended or viewer count. But otherwise, still bad. What I have noticed. I don't know what the algorithm is for like your default vertical feed, like for recommended streams. I've noticed when I swipe through like the first 10 streams, half of them are actually from my followed list. Because before it would just be like maybe one followed stream and the rest are recommended. Also, Twitch Daffy, if you're listening, I know you like the peace and stream. When you go to Twitch desktop, It'll have, like, the carousel featured content. What you should do on mobile is indicate if it is a featured stream. Because a featured stream is kind of like promoted content sometimes, right? Like, sometimes, like, the top stream on the homepage is an end. Or like it's promoting a product, not that somebody paid to be on the front page. But you should have like an indicator, like below where it says mature audiences or um, includes paid promotion. Have a little su subtext that says featured stream. That way people know it's in their recommended. Because I was looking at my Twitch mobile right next to my Twitch desktop one day. And like one day where I was swiping through, like two of the streams were, were front page featured streams. Like th in the carousel, but they're on mobile. And I didn't know it was a feature stream because I was like, this is not like anything that I would normally watch. Like, why is this semi recommended? I don't know. Twitch staff. Carousel streams throughout the day. Because they change like every hour or so for the front page carousel. On mobile, make like a featured tab, kind of like how YouTube had the trending tab. That way, no mobile viewers know that those are recommended streams and they can watch the recommended streams if they really want to. Because you can't find the carousel when you search on mobile. I don't think. The weapon was there and then it went poof. Six of Swords. You got the drawn card. Okay, the card changes every time. That was not the same card we got the first playthrough. Hmm. But yeah, Loop did say things that are random are truly random every time you reset.
Oh, we also can find the Baba making supplies too. You breathe in and out. 400 XP received. faster I am compared to my allies. Do you guys think Twitch will ever change their mobile app back to what it was before? Because I know they're getting a lot of shit for it. Some people like it. I want to know what the percentage of the users that actually like it is. The problem is, with the vertical feed, it's supposed to grab your attention immediately. And live stream content isn't super attention grabbing right away. Like the reason why vertical feeds work on other platforms is because people have like a three second hook or like some type of action in the very beginning. But streams are not like that. There are lulls, there are quiet moments. That's why the vertical feed will not work on long form platforms unless Twitch pushes short form a lot. Also, I got a text from my sugar daddy I gotta answer. We're trying to decide where we want to go tomorrow. and dating? No, it's a joke. It's a joke. I'm just hanging out with my friends. I just call my friends my sugar mamas or daddies because they pay for me because I'm broke. And even if I was dating, I would not tell Chan. Because this is something that Pokimane said that I think makes a lot of sense. Is because when you make stuff online, you're consenting to yourself being presented online. But, like, your family doesn't, your partners don't. So, it's in your best interest and the safety of those individuals to not talk about them or show them online. Because even if you're prepared for that scrutiny, they are not. So, even if I was dating or fucking around, you guys would not hear about it. Or I would just lie and say I'm not. So, you truly will never know. I think that's it's kind of like how some people keep like their children private which makes sense because like obviously a kid can't consent to being shown online it's up to the parents discretion but no I'm not dating 
And if I was, I would still say, no, I'm not. So you don't know. <laughs> like, you guys will know if I make a... What type of, like, videos do you see on YouTube of people doing with, like, their boyfriends and shit? Two truths and a lie. Tell the truth or you take a shot. What else do people do? Oh my god, doing my boyfriend's makeup? Everybody does that. But I, I don't think I can do that because I don't know how to do makeup. <laughs> it, would be <laughs> it would be so bad. I still want to try and do a face painting stream for Halloween. I want to get the mannequin. Should have taken out the rock first. <laughs> Giving my turn to Mirabelle so Mir Mirabelle can heal herself. I remember there was a small streamer that I, I used to watch. They quit years ago because they had to focus on college. But I remember every day they would talk about their dating lives. And I remember I would be so excited to hear about it. Like, oh my god, that's so cute. Like, I'm glad the date went well because they would talk about it. But then after, I was like, shit, this is not healthy. <laughs> like, I am not their friend. <laughs> like, I should not know about this. Because, <laughs> like, sometimes they would talk about, like, really personal things concerning that relationship. And then I also thought, I was like... If I was somebody who was dating a streamer or a YouTuber, I would not want them talking about that. You know what I mean? That's why, like, I think it's best just to keep anything concerning dating private if you're an online personality. Unless your partner fully consents to being talked about or shown on video or on calls and stuff. That's my opinion. Also, I cleaned my glasses yesterday and I also tightened the screws, so, like... My glasses fit a bit better today. Who would have thought, huh? I'm locked in. You breathe in and out. 450 XP received. Sifrin is now level 62. And learn the craft skill Rose Printed Glasses. Isabeau is now level 46 and learn the craft skill So Weak. Odell is now level 46. Okay, so they will naturally relearn the craft skills if I level them up normally. So I don't, I won't necessarily have to equip it. Okay, so it is in my best interest to just level naturally. Fuck! Guys, we're playing the whole game again. Wasn't Isabel level 50 yesterday? Yes, he was actually like higher level today too. But the whole premise of this game is to go back to previous to go back to previous save points in the map. That way you can get different items, get different perks. But when you do that, you spawn at a previous save point, so they're gonna have less perks, less levels. So as of right now, like 20 minutes ago, I had to basically start from the beginning. That way I can get every single perk, every single item. That way I can do the boss fight as best as I can. That sounds confusing. It is a little bit, but I kind of don't mind it now. Now that I like fully understand what I need to do. I kind of I kind of don't hate this. 
Because now, it kind of... Because when you play an RPG, you want to, like, 100% the game. Some people like doing that. And I kind of like doing that. So, doing it as part of the game, it kind of forces you to do a 100% accomplishment run. 100% item run. Which is what I would have done anyway. So, I kind of... I kind of fuck with it, low-key. It's a cool me mechanic, though. Yeah, I kind of... It was, like, really pissing me off when we were in, like, floor 2 or when we, when we were in floor 3, we had to go back to floor 2. But now I, 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 now that I fully get it, I kind of don't mind it. And I'm, I'm kind of at a point where, like, I have to commit. I've already done 15 hours in this game, so... Seventeen hours playtime. This is loot number seventeen. Officially done with floor number one. I've gotten all the items. Now to floor number two. If you get famous, will you give Sketch my number? No. You you think we're chill like that, Ethan? I think not. Just because you click go live now doesn't mean we're on the same level. <laughs> You know, I don't have connections to anybody. The only streamers that I know that kind of, like, have reach would be Cutily and Scootish. And Scootish left me on red. And Cutily... I, like, I'm too... I would not be able to weasel my way in. You know, she's got connections with some big boy and big girl streamers. But I I'm just, like, I'm not there. I'm just- I'm just an indie streamer. Scissors. Okay, I'm locked in. Plus, like, I don't want to get famous through nepotism anyway. I'd rather, like, make good shit. And, like, have people genuinely enjoy what I do than, like, collab. That's why, like, I don't collab ever. I've only... Done... I think four collabs. You got super quiet. Wait, did I actually? You're lying. It's probably your end. Everything on mine looks fine. It could have been maybe I was talking softer. <clears throat> I was gonna yell, but my sister's sleeping. <laughs> like, just blow out the mic. <laughs> no, I can't do that. That would be too mean. Rose Printed Glasses deals weak paper damage to one enemy. Gives two jackpot points instead of one. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Wait, that's huge. We can use that in the king fight. Oh my god, oh my god. W. In a wow, rocket dial. But yeah, I've only done, I think, four collab streams. First one was Admire or Desire with Kotski featuring Scootish. A little bit of lore there. That was my first ever collab stream. I was put in last minute because somebody dropped. Like, I literally had four hours to prepare. And if, okay, none of you fuckers were here for that stream because that's what, that was back in February 22. But I had only started growing. Sorry, I don't know why I said fuckers. I'm sorry. But, um... I, in that four hour period, I had so many bits and jokes and nobody appreciated me. No, cause like, how do I say? How do I say this? Nobody's gonna watch this stream so I can talk shit. No, it's not shit. The issue is, oh, I need rock damage. Increase our attack. A lot of small streamers aren't entertainers if that makes sense which i was in that boat for a long time what i mean by that is a lot of people when you first start streaming you're just being yourself which is good authenticity is really good but you as a person like your normal self you're not always on you're not always 
goofing or gaffing. You're not always entertaining. So, like, if you've been watching for a long time, you probably have seen my, like, on-screen personality change a lot. Especially in the past year and a half. Nobody's hurt. Let's make us faster. So because of that, a lot of smaller streamers don't want to, like, ham it up for camera. They aren't trying to be entertaining. They aren't trying to be funny. And with that Admire Desire stream, Katsi loved my bits. He thought they were great because we kind of pre-vetted some of them, me and Kiruli, and he loved them. He thought they were really good. Because I was I was RPing as like a, a yandere for Scootish. And he loved it. Nobody else fucking loved it. <laughs> they, I don't know what they thought about me, but you could tell they were not vibing with me. Because I was tryharding. I was trying to be funny. I was making jokes. I was doing bits. Nobody in that group liked me for that. <laughs> But, you know, I was just trying to, like, make a good show. And I think considering, since I was a last-minute addition, I feel like I did a lot. Like, I didn't have to try hard. I didn't have to be funny. That's not what the show was. And I didn't realize that. And that left a very sour taste in my mouth for a long time. Okay, I don't know what enemy type it is now. Oopsie. Let's do the paper combo. Oh, it's immune. <laughs> uh, okay, scissor combo. And then, so that was my first collab. Like, first official collab. And then, I was invited to a Mario Kart tournament hosted by Dream... By Dream's WGH, I think his user is. And then two other people, Poison underscore, and then one other guy who I didn't know. And I absolutely failed, because I'm not- I was so bad in Mario Kart at the time. But now I'm good. Or better. I felt really bad. But it was still, like, really fun. The two people I was teamed up with- Oh my god, Gion! That's how I met Gion! Gion's really cool. He makes, like- He actually makes music and shit. Like, play music. Scores. And then- oh, I forgot the other guy's name, but I didn't talk to him after. But I was put into, like, a random team, because we were kind of like fillers. But they were both really cool. And then I was on Emmy Beef's podcast one day, and we talked about art. That was cool. And then I went on Rainy's stream. Oh, wait, I did a collab with Cutely as well, where we ranked fast food in a cheer list. Okay, it's rock now. And then I also, like, hopped on Rainy Stream and taught her how to play Mario Kart. So I've technically only done five collabs. And I didn't gain any followers from any of them. But that's not what I did it for. I don't give a shit. I'd rather just make a funny video or a funny stream. I'm locked in. Because, yeah, collabs are a good way to grow. Networking, like, writing into other people, chatting in other people's streams is a good way to, like, make friends. But if you yourself can't make good shit, whenever you do have a collab that gets a lot of numbers, people are not going to stay and watch you. That's what a lot of people don't realize. You have to focus on your product over everything. Your product in this instance being the actual stream content. Uh, what should I do? I'll heal. I don't want to ruin my combo. Watch this wombo combo. Easy. Because what a lot of, like, larger creators say- I gotta clean my glasses, they're blurry. Is that, obviously, there's an aspect of skill and creation in order to be successful, but a lot of it comes down to luck. 
because a lot of online content is dictated by like algorithms. So depending on how a select group of people like and engage and interact with what you make determines on if more people will push it artificially through the system. Like, I believe that if somehow I had a hundred chatters, I think I could handle it. Like, there's some creators that you know would not do well if they magically got a lot of viewers one day. But I, I think I could handle it. I think I could do it. I think at this point, I just need to do regular offensive moves. See you when I become a video essayer? Oh no. Make what you want to make. Fuck it. Go for it. The lovely thing about the internet is that there is a niche and audience for, like, everything. It's immune! What the? I didn't realize it was still a rock type. I think if one wants to pursue like video essay or commentary, that type of niche, you have to have better production skill in terms of your editing, VFX, and actual script writing. Because anybody can make a video talking about anything they want, but if your overall style doesn't stand out, then you're just a normal person. Are you a fan of Adventure Time? I tried watching Adventure Time when I was younger, but like I just couldn't get into it. I don't know why. I think it's because like it was a bit too weird. So I'm sorry, Adventure Time fans, but not for me. Pass. Adventure Time was so boring. I'm reading a chat message. That is not my real opinion. I didn't say I like chowder. I didn't mind chowder. My sister loved chowder, so like I couldn't change the TV channel when it was on. Should I build? Oh yeah, I can't attack with scissors right now. I'm good with production stuff? Then make something. Make shit. Or, unless you already are, then keep making shit. I would have cut the power lines if my sibling insisted on watching Chowder. You're admitting to, like, vandalism. And is that terrorism? Like, destroying power lines? Is that considered domestic terrorism? Can somebody fact check that, please? <laughs> Die. You breathe in and out. Six thousand XP received. Mirabelle is now level forty six. Yeah, American power... Er... Isn't... Wait, I'm trying to think. I think most of it is run by government entities. But I think there is some privatization. Wait, I'm actually not sure. I think, wait, it, it could be different per state. I know in the counties that I've lived, it's all been like, like your utilities is billed from the city or from the county. In Canada, they're privatized but highly regulated. Privatization is bad and stupid and nothing that should be a human right should be privatized. 
or run by privatized entities. I'll say it. Should I have pineapple again? Oh wait, I missed something. Galletas and onigiri. I want chips. Even though they are not healthy. On to floor two. Now for floor two, we head to the left. We're a socialist. Why is the game using the TikTok boom sound effect? Not everything is of TikTok, you know. All TikTok sounds are originated from somewhere. Dang it, I tried. I tried my darndest. Oh, my feet hurt. Also guys, I don't think I've told you at all today, but if you're new here and you're lurking, click follow. Somehow, if you're watching part four of my playthrough and you're not following, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, I think story games are for the real peace and fans. Because you must like me at least a little bit to sit through this game, especially this one. <laughs> like, this one is so long unnecessarily. You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Isabel is now level 47. Odal is now level 47. Maybe this is just my favorite game? I think you're lying. I don't believe you. No! My god, stop yapping, Mirabelle. I've heard this shit before. Oh! <laughs> I try to dodge. No, not this guy! We might actually die because we're not quick enough. Yeah, Isabel has alluded to transition. And there's a lot of themes of that in the game as well. Like the sequences where they would talk about the change god. There was also a room where there was a, a frozen character who was actively transitioning. But, you know, with games like this, I like when it's not on the nose. Because... It's a good way to introduce the themes to somebody who may not, like, as be as educated in the topic. Is that what Bo wants to tell you? No, Bo wants to tell me that he wants to fuck me. <laughs> I don't have paper alpha yet. Oh, wait! Wombo combo. I don't think it'll kill, though. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. 
Easy. Once again, you can tell that people made sure to give you some space. Stealing yourself, he'd take a deep breath and brush against everyone softly. Oh, we're warming up to everybody! Exposure therapy. What a rush. I used to be so touch adverse when I was very little. Like, I didn't like when anybody touched me. Like, there's reasons why I was that way. And also having, like, textured hair. If anybody has textured hair, or, like, bigger hair. You understand this. Like, people will just, like, walk up to you and, like, touch your hair. Or, like, ask about it and, like, fiddle with it without asking. This happens so much by, like, other kids and, like, even teachers, too, sometimes. So, like, I just didn't like anybody, like, approaching me or being touched at all. And it wasn't until, like, very late high school, like, maybe junior or senior year where I finally, like, understood that, like, there can be good touches. I did that as a kid. I didn't know it was bad back then. And that's okay. Like, if you're young, you don't know it better. But, like, adults would do it, too. So, it was just, like, very unsettling. Like, I don't... Ooh, Mirabelle is now level 47. I learned the craft skill, lovely, moving cure. Yay! Like, I don't hold any resentment towards, like, like, my other classmates, but... I feel like as an adult, you should know better. Oh my god, we got in here before it... It fell. Nothing cool here. What is wrong with you, Ethan? Dude. One time when I was 12, I cut off a strand of my close friend's hair. And my English teacher put me in trouble. Dude, you were 12. You should have known better. I get so scared. When I'm in public, I don't wear my hair down. I don't know if this has, like, happened to anybody. But I'm so scared of, like, somebody, like, cutting my hair. Like, on the bus or some shit. I don't wear my hair down. I was not a normal 12-year-old. You know what? That's very easy for me to believe. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well, I'm being honest. Oh wait, somebody had- they had something in their pocket. Oh yeah, the earrings. I remember one of the frozen people had an item. I think it was on th floor three. What? How'd you know? Wait, you're 26, you're older than me? Bro. Boomer. Do you have watch time enabled? I think I do, but it doesn't fucking work. Oh yeah, it doesn't work. Because anytime people would do watch time, it would always say zero minutes. Because for some reason, for stream elements, it shows like the watch time for your current session, not your like entire lived watch time for a channel for some reason. I don't know why the fuck it doesn't work. But... We'll, we'll just assume everybody's watched a million hours. Oh yeah, I already learned the carrot thing. Yeah, I don't know why the bot doesn't work. Stream Elements is pretty good, like all their other bots work, but for some reason, the watch time one does not work for me. There's probably an achievement for finishing the game with all the souvenirs, but you know what? I don't care.
almost forgot these vials. Are you Brat or Demore? I don't understand that meme. Can somebody understand it? I know it's like music related, right? It's not my job to educate you. But don't you feel that I've educated you a lot, Ethan? This is an educational channel. I feel it is only fair. Little Grum! You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. Is it like the aura jokes? I kind of understand the aura jokes. Because, like, okay, I use social media, I use TikTok and Instagram, but, like, I don't use it for entertainment, usually. Like, I just make my posts, maybe swipe through and watch 10 seconds of 5 videos, and then I exit the app. Because I've realized that, like, short-form content is brain-dead content. And I, I know myself, I post it. But I feel like at least the clips I post are like have substance for the most part. Oh, okay. Thank you for explaining, Ethan. I would have to say, you know, I've been streaming a lot. I'm gonna say Demore. I said this yesterday. I literally have never been to a bar. And I have no interest or desire to. Even when I go to Applebee's and they ask, Hey, Peason, do you want to sit at the bar? I'm like, no, thank you. Smile. Because if you sit at the bar... The bartender's gonna want to talk to you, and sometimes, like, I don't want to- I don't want to talk when I have, like, a, a steak in my mouth. How do you find a sugar mama without a bar? I love how you said sugar parent, because you know mama's a block term. <laughs> but I think saying sugar parent is not a good substitution. <laughs> not all sugar mamas and daddies are, like, old. Take him out. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. I know, like, I joke about having, like, a sugar mama or sugar daddy all the time. But I do think it could be kind of fun <laughs> to, like, actually... Wait, what was that? Did you guys see that? I saw a Sifrin standing here. Wait, I'm scared. No, I'm scared. I saw... Oh my god, I saw a ghost. I need to talk to Loop. I'm scared. Loop? 
You make this secret hand sign and think about talking to Loop. You ignore the confused scared. You ignore the confused stares of your allies. You close your eyes. Hello, hello. Loop speaking. Thank you for calling. How may I help you? Okay, so these are new dialogue sequences. Uh, what should I do next? You've got it, Stardust. All you have to do now is beat the king. Okay, that's the same. Uh, let's talk about something. Well, I'd love to chat, Stardust, but you have other things to do, don't you? Oh my god. Come by and see me anytime. We'll have time to chat about whatever you want. Um, I have a question about... Oh! Oh, okay, okay. A lot of things. Nice. How did you know I was allergic to pineapples? I just knew. What? How? I just knew, Stardust. Like, really, what I am again. Um... A star? Which is... Part of the universe? Indeed. So why wouldn't I know when the universe knows? True. You suppose that makes sense, but... Mirabelle's statue. Huh? Oh, the Change God statue where you get the key knife. I didn't know your housemaiden made it. Explains why it looks so bad. It's true, sadly. I don't know much about the Change belief, but maybe if you looked at a bunch of statues in the house, you might learn something about them. Huh. Okay, so I have to click on every statue then. Which I kind of forgot to do. Bonnie was looking at a book. They were, weren't they? A book with a scary figurine on it. They acted very defensive when they saw you noticed. But, who cares? Is that that important to find out? Something about it worries you. Since Bonnie takes the book away before you read it, you wonder if you could find that book elsewhere. Dang. Um, I'm trying to make a B-O-M-B. You are. Do it. It's gonna be so useful. So you need a long thingy thing, a short gizmo gadget, and a secret ingredient, huh? That short gizmo gadget is in your housemaiden's dorm room. I wonder where the rest is. When you have all three ingredients, just interact with one of them in your pockets to make it. Do you know how to fix a knife? Oh. Are you thinking about fixing up the key knife? Smart. I mean, don't you sharpen your own dagger? How do you do it? A sharpening stone? And where is it? Bonnie used it as a skipping stone a week ago. Huh. But then you don't have yours, huh? So just find one somewhere else. The boulder? Maybe if I punch the boulder, a piece comes off. Hmm. Because there's a boulder by the housemaiden's room. Or the head housemaiden's room. Maybe if I punch it, a piece comes off? I have missed interacting with a handful of the Change God statues, so I think I've I missed out on that secret. The Baba might be helpful, but there was no other indication that I found other items for it in the previous loops, so I'm not sure.
You breathe in and out. 300 XP received. There probably is a secret if I click on every single statue, honestly. None here. Which I can't remember if I interacted with all the statues on floor one. A big rock. At least this one didn't fall right on you or anyone else. Could we maybe break it down? We could try, but... Ha, <laughs> smash! Oh, the rock did not flinch. How's your fist? I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, nothing came out of there. I think there was a change god statue in the headmaster's room. I didn't interact with it, so... Oh well. But in the first attempt, I interacted with every single statue, so there's nothing new spawned. final king fight you can probably level like crazy and as long as you have the miracle guard you're fine but there's probably like secret missions to get items that will make the fight easier but i don't think they're essential so i'm not gonna like fret too much if i miss out on it i think the devil's resistant to paper Resisted, but it's still damaged. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. And then I have to interact with the books. Something's weird about that book. Oh, she took the book. Okay. Oh, this is the heavy book. Okay. The one we just picked up. Boost attack, but plus one cooldown on all craft skills. I think that's fine because I don't use the skills often for Odile, especially since Odile has base paper attack. It'll be fine for the king fight if we have to cycle through and wait for um, craft skills. Breathe in and out. 300 XP received. You know what some of you guys will receive? An ad break. Because guys, we are four hours in. So if you're new here, click follow. And if you already follow me, you can subscribe for $5.99 to $6 to skip the ads. You can also subscribe for free by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. Ain't no way. Okay, I'm locked in. Oh, 
Come on, just loot me. I was trying to bait it. I don't want to fight him. I just want to progress. The combo wasted on the large enemy. Oh, it still hits the double? Yeah. It didn't kill them. Oh, wait, it did. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Sifrin is now level 63. Devil's now vulnerable. Yeah, perfect. Mm hmm. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Now I just gotta find that book. She's asking about the statues. I'm just wondering why the statues are broken. That's the king's doing, isn't it? They're statues of the change god, and the king wants to freeze Vigard in time, so maybe the king wanted to make a statement. Look how useless your god is. That sort of thing. But only the faces are destroyed. Normally you destroy the whole statue, right? The face is important, Dial. Oh? Yes. Um, so, every statue we've seen so far is made by a different crafter or artist. It's kind of a cultural thing to craft your own change god. The change god is always changing, always different. And we all have our own version of the change god in our brains. The change god is always depicted wearing the same clothes, 
So they're at least recognizable in that way. But their face is always changing. I think the change god has like a thousand eyes. That's how they could see everything. I've heard someone say the change god had seen their own mouth shut. Unable to tell us how to change, leaving it to us poor humans to figure it out. I had a dream they had dimples. And? Since it's crafted by us, it's supposed to represent our connection to the change god. The change god, by their very nature, doesn't interact with humans much. Except for when they blessed Mirabelle. Uh, uh, yes. But by crafting the change god's face, we get linked to them in some way. And some people even get to communicate with the change god through the statues they made as well. Oh, really? No, uh, not really. Yes, really. I met someone who's talked to the change god when they finished their statue. Was it a dream, maybe? Because you know that doesn't count. Anyway, that's why all the statues are different from one another. Interesting. So it's a cultural tradition to make your own statue. And it's a connection between you and the change god. How do you connect with your gods, madam? We make shrines for our gods, and everyone shares the shrines. Sharing gods? Interesting. Now that you know more about the statues and the change belief, maybe you could check Mirabel's statue once more. Not right now, though. You have a king to beat. Mirabel's statue was the one that gave us the knife, so at the very end. So I assume, for that sequence, you probably have to click on statues X amount of times. Okay, I got it, I got it. I'm not gonna lie, you were so quiet for a while that when you talked, I, I got jump scared. Heh, <laughs> I got him. <laughs> no, it's just like, I know that if I keep yip yapping during this game, I'm gonna lose my mind. Partially also because like I know I'm gonna cut out most of today's stream. <laughs> so... Also, my sugar daddy texted me back. I gotta text him back or he's not gonna, like, treat me to lunch. Oh! I'm trying to find the emoji with the words like <laughs> Okay, now you guys have my full attention We must find the book Oh, this is new Sifrin, are you curious about bonding earrings? You nod do you not have those where you're from? You don't. We have bonding earrings in Kabu as well. Uh, let me explain it for you, Sif. You see, Sif, when people love each other very much... Oh! I, I want to know what happens when people love each other very much! No one's ever told me! Isabeau? Many things happen, and then maybe they decide to get... I thought he said bored. <laughs> to get bonded and spend a very long time together. When they do, they'll start making a pair of bonding earrings. They're supposed to symbolize the other person, so the design is very, very important. And if the bonding is between three or more people- Wait! Flush! <laughs> you could- And if the bonding is between three or more people, you'd make as many earrings as there are people. And then you exchange earrings. So they'd each carry one of the earrings. I know it's not practiced everywhere, but it definitely is in Vagard. Not everyone does in Kabu, but it's popular there as well. Not my kind of thing, though. Oh, so... Is that why you all wear earrings? Huh? What do you mean? You point at Mirabelle, Isabeau, and Bonnie's ears. 
Huh. Oh. No, that's not why we wear earrings. Those are just regular earrings. Yeah, um, that's... My sister said I had to wear them. Well, it is very common for people to wear earrings, but it's not related. Mirabel, Isabeau, and Bonnie all look at each other. Is it related? I'm suddenly worried. I haven't met a lot of people without earrings, even if they're not bonding earrings. It's true that I know very few of the Guardians without earrings. Is that why we wear them? As like... A way to get used to the idea at a young age? Oh my god, they're indoctrinating the children to get bonded with multiple partners. Is this Mormonism? A thing we gotta do because adults said so? Evil manipulation to force us to get bonded as we age? Huh. I suppose every country has its weird, antiquated traditions. I guess so. It's kind of funny. Ew! Maribel seems genuinely upset at the idea. Maybe you shouldn't have brought it up. Um, but your earrings all look nice, though. Ah, you think so? You nod. Isabel hides his face. Oh my god, he's blushing! Uh, anyway, your earrings are nice, Mira. They make you look cute. I like my earrings because I can hang things on them. Yes, my earrings do look nice. And they were expensive. I'll throw them away dramatically another time. <laughs> That's the spirit. Hmm. Maybe you could go see that frozen person again in a future loop. What do you mean a, f a future loop? We're in the same level. What? I'll go back. Shoot. Oh shit. Cause I thought the bonded earrings were in this level. Or maybe because I've exhausted the dialogue here already. I don't know. Dude, this game wants me to keep resetting, resetting. Approved. You know, I think people should be able to do whatever they want to do as long as everything's consensual. But I genuinely don't see how a long term poly relationship can last. I've known several people who have tried it in all of. All of them have ended in drama. I would just like to say, I'm not Polly. <laughs> so nobody try. <laughs> Yo! You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. I'm going back to find the the bonded earring person. I think it was to the left. It wasn't them, I don't think. Yeah, this was the craft room. Or the Botanical room. It wasn't here. It wasn't really on the previous floor? Fuck. It's fine. I don't need that secret. Gen 4 Pokemon playthrough when? Maybe next year for the peace luck. I don't want to play Pokemon for a long ass time. It took too fucking long. You guys want another 150 hour Pokemon playthrough? I don't. 
I did say the next stream I'm gonna do is gonna be Poker Rogue. I did promise. Okay, making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces pass. I'm homegrown? I don't know the rest of the words. Or I'm homebound? Homegrown? Easy. You breathe in and out. 700 XP received. A sadness! Ain't no way. If I recall correctly, this one is rock. Karaoke C is. Oh, I don't know how to say rock in Spanish. Oh, it's scissors. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Thank you, I was gonna delete that. No copy pastas, how do I ban you? Let's see, you're getting a warning for that one? Custom reason? No character copy pastas. There you go. You get a warning. Oh wait! Warnings don't show up in the mod actions. I thought they did. Oh. Man, so that means all the times that I warm chatters, we can't see it in the... In the what you call it, the Christmas review stream. Also, Ethan, what is your PFP banner? It looks like an anime furry. Oh no, it's like a mecha. It's a fairy mecha. So I'm on the nice list? No, you're not. If you're a tier 3 sub, you automatically get put on the nice list. Everybody else is put in front of the judge, jury, and executioner. It's my Legends Arceus Palkia. Oh, it looked like... Because <laughs> <laughs> when you're in mod view, you can pull up... Uh, you can pull up like people's profile and it shows like their profile banner and some of y'all got some whack ass banners you know my banner is something normal it's just my starting sin screen a lot of people will put memes or like scary images sometimes It's weak to rock. I'm locking in. I lost my rock power. Man, Bonnie really fucking sucks. I'll say it. Oh, 
Oh shit. Bo is also out of rock moves. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna lose the combo then. Oh well. No main porta! The movie I wanted to watch is either now or 8.20. Well, what's more important, a movie or the stream? Isabel is now level 48. Odal is now level 48. I know it's utterly, but I think Odal is funnier. You got a star crest. Okay, also guys, I have to use the restroom. You guys know the drill. Emote only chat? Put your favorite picture in the chat. I'll be right back. Who got scared? I'm gonna see the Borderlands movie. It got a zero. It got a zero? That's insane. I have no interest to see the Borderlands franchise at all. Why is Age Alliance, like, not grayed out? I've done that before. Well, I, I can't reset at this point, so go down the correct path. The only thing up was lore, I believe. I was trying to dodge. 
You know, I don't- I'm not a fighter, I'm a lover. You have no interest in Borderlands because you're not a real gamer? Dude, I play fucking Nintendo games. What? Indicates that I'm a real gamer. I've only just started to play games on my computer. And by that, I mean Super Auto Pits and Supermarket Simulator. I do have Valorant downloaded, but that's just because my sister wanted to try it and she played it for 30 minutes and thought it was boring. I'm not a gamer. I'm not a boy's boy. I'm not a gamer girl. Plus, like, I don't want to be known as a gamer. That's like boxing yourself in too much. Okay, I can't touch the broken glass. They're ruining my immersion. Ooh, two salty broths, that's huge. Okay, nothing new. Still only on floor two, my god. I see her live. Yes, sir. Hi, Matt. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Aren't you supposed to be hanging out with your GF? But I'm glad you're here. Smile. My nose is itchy. We're on the couch together? Aww, cute. This is the monster that has the weird hands. I think that's very mean of you to say, Ethan. We should not make fun of people's disformities. You breathe in and out. 500 XP received. Yeah, this was the boulder room. Wait, was this the journal they didn't like? The book about traps. Nothing more to learn here. Fuck! He found the scissors key. Is this a sharpening tool? Some carving wood. Yeah, where'd my carving tools go? Damn it. Okay, it's fine. So I think that's- I've gotten everything in floor two, I believe. Ooh, 
clean. Guys, we're another 30 minutes into stream. If you're new here, click follow. If you don't click follow, I will cry. And if you do click follow, I will say thank you. And also cry happy tears. Okay, my glasses are bothering me again. Sifrin getting the rock and paper craft is insane. Because now I can build combos quicker. I don't think you should only wear one eye contact at a time. Mirabelle is now level 48. I don't know, I'm not a medical professional, so I'm not going to answer that question. Okay, I'm going to go back and save here. That way, if I have to respawn at the start of level two, then they'll be higher level. Damn, 17 hours. Oh wait, no, that's loop 17 playtime. It's translated to the right a little bit. Yeah, I'm still in loop 17. Will I ever stream a 3D game? Isn't Super Mario Odyssey a 3D game? But if that- if you mean like open world, probably not. Cause isn't God of War like more combat heavy? I don't like games like that as much. Like a real 3D game? Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm locked in. You know what sucks? I watched Jacksepticeye's full playthrough of the new God of War. So, like, I kind of already know what happened. Awkward. Okay, for this sadness, we're just attacking paper. Did you enjoy the story? Yeah. Increasing defense, because I want to get a scissor combo. See you maybe later, Vic. But thanks for watching. Also, thanks for the 100 bits earlier. Thank you. But I'll be honest, I'm probably still gonna be live. Because <laughs> we gotta get our sap game in. Giving my turn to Sifrin. And then, buy one, get one, three. Duh. And Wombo Combo. Take him out. Okay, even if the short hair one, like, fucking dies, it still eats the other one. That's so unfair.
Oops, I misclicked. Easy. You breathe in and out. 7,000 XP received. Sifrin is now level 64. Isabeau is now level 49 and learn the craft skill Break Break. Odal is now level 49 and learn the craft skill Paper Alpha 5. Finally! Yeah, I'm gonna have to naturally level everybody up to like at least probably 55 before I try the king again. So I'll see as far how far I can get today. Ooh, is that a rock? No! Fuck! I wanted to see if that rock on the ground was my carving tool! It's too late now. It probably wasn't. It better not be. Dude, imagine. Oh wait, I was mean by accident. Oopsie. Oh. Oh yeah, they're asking me how do how do I want to be buried? Uh, throw my ashes to the sky because I'm a star. Okay, do not pick pineapple. <laughs> Now to floor three. I believe I go to the left first. Is this my carving tools? No. Dude, where are my carving tools? Yeah, we knocked down the entire shelf. Two salty broths, nice. So now that the paper mache hands, the tonics are there. Cool. So it could be good to double check wherever weapons were. Which they use in closets anyway, so I'm gonna check those. Okay, this was the observatory room. We don't need to come back here. Oh. I need to go to the right. That's fine. I forgot.
You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Mirabelle is now level 49. You got the massive chain. Okay, they're talking about croissants. And they're making fun of Odile. Save Odile. Stop making fun of him. You slap your hand right in front of right on Mirabelle's mouth. Oh. Huh? Uh, mm. You shake your head at her and move your hand. What the crab? What? I wasn't gonna say anything bad. I was just gonna say that... That... It's... That. That this torch over there is wonderful, right? The design of it is very nice. I suppose. Mirabelle gives you a grateful smile. You give her a thumbs up. Oh. Your glove now has a trace of lipstick on it. Oh my god, for lunch! Oh! Lipstick gloves. Didn't mind smudge? She looks as perfect as always. Oh my god, we, we're in love. You shake your head. <laughs> Sorry about your gloves, then. I'm a sucker for a love triangle. There, there. Odell absentmindedly pats Isabeau's shoulder. Wait... Dio likes Bo? Yo! A dog and its owner. We've seen this before. Yeah, and they're like, oh my god, how could you notice the dog before the human? The patch closet. Do nothing here. Caught. Breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Oh, finally this guy. You breathe in and out. 650 XP received.
Holy. One more hit. And it goes to Bonnie, finally. You breathe in and out. 1,000 XP received. Yeah, the fight is here. We get the crest. We continue on to the right. Got the picture back. Smiling key. Then I think we make our way back to the left. Because this door needed the angry key, I believe. Yeah, the angry key. Back in Mirabelle's room. You haven't worn a dress in forever. Hmm. Damn, we can't look in her dresser. Sorry, guys. same dialogue. You got the short gizmo gadget. Okay. I know we get the secret ingredient by talking to a frozen person, but I don't know how to get the long thingy. Just a frozen house maiden. Two salty bras. This is where they talk about the cloak. You found the angry key. Talk about changing your body.
Okay, nothing new. I must have missed the book that Bonnie got defensive about. I still don't know the code for that door. paper. go. You breathe in and out. 1,100 XP received. This room feels weird how there's like a cubby here. I'm clicking there's nothing on the walls. Yeah, to the right, I don't need anything from there, I don't think. And I don't want to reset. Well, I've battled most of the mini bosses like five times, so now I know how to do it in one go. I just want to get to the king again. I'm so close. 
I'm still gonna have to like naturally level up though. Easy. You breathe in and out. 1000 XP received. Did you eat yet? Yeah, I had my protein shake. And I actually remembered. But hi, Kim. Yeah, I put it right by my desk. That way, like, anytime I looked at my phone, I saw it. So I did not forget. Okay, let's see. Level 49. Everybody's level 49. I kind of want to get them to 50 before I try and fight the king again. Oh, there's no save point here yet. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go down and save here. And then I'm gonna head towards the hidden statue. <sighs> and you know what else I'm gonna do? Run an ad, because guys, we're five hours in. So if you're new here, click follow. And if you're already following, you can subscribe for $5.99 or $6 to watch without ads. And you get emotes. You can also link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. I'm beating this game today, surely. The tear floats gently. You have a star crest, so use it. Yes. <laughs> Mirabel's friend. Okay, we got the door to here. I mean, the key to here. And they're like, what? How'd you know it was there? In a way. Wait. Over there, isn't that a bathroom? Oh yeah, so this is... Yeah, they haven't been to the bathroom yet. Bathroom. You close the bathroom stall door. Well... You have, your, you have a way to defend yourself against the king, but you're still having trouble, aren't you? The king is so much stronger than you anticipated. Why is he so powerful? What made him this way? You've seen him a couple of times now. A couple more and you might know his opening dialogue by heart. He keeps asking if you remember. Remember what? Is there something you've forgotten that he knows about? Does it have something to do with the loops, perhaps? Does he remember you? That doesn't matter right now. You just need to find a way to beat him. Maybe you can find ways to get stronger inside the house. Battle more sadnesses? That key knife you got. If you manage to keep it intact, it might help you against the king. And tonics. Can't forget the tonics. If you went from the first floor of the house and walked all the way to the top, pick up items as you went through. It might help you survive a little bit longer. That's what I did just now. Just a tiny bit more. One hit more until you win. Endless tries. Thanks, universe change gods. Someone. Anyone. Thank you for this blessing. You'll be okay. You exit the bathroom. Okay, so I've officially at this point gotten all the items. Like heals and stuff, not like weapons. Back here. Their face obscured, their silhouette shrouded, their expression hidden. An intact statue of the change god stands before you. 
Everyone is lost in thought, most likely sending their wishes to the change god. Join them? Last time I said yes, this time I'll try and say no. Nothing to wish for. <laughs> you found the key knife. Okay, so either way you get the key knife. Sifrin? What are you holding there? Unbelief! Did the change god give it to us? Huh? No, it can't. I th I think they did. With it we can... What? Oh yeah, and then it teleports us back here. What the? That's... Floor 3's entrance. The change god beamed us there. That's... Well, at least we don't have to backtrack. I'm not gonna ask questions. Thank you, Change God, for this boon. Thanks, Change God. Thank you. You know what I look at each other and shrug. Thank you, Change God, or expressions, or whichever deity gave us this knife. Uh, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna save here, and then I'm gonna backtrack to the statue one more time. Because they did imply that there is new dialogue. Hi, Marsley. Welcome back. You know, the thing I do like about longer streams... Like, as a viewer and as the streamer. Like, it's nice to stream for this long because I know like I see different people throughout the day because usually I'll stream for like two or three hours in the morning and we'll just have morning crew but now we have midday and sometimes evening crew it's nice okay I'm locked in Breathe in, and out. 550 XP received. Isabel is now level 50. Odal is now level 50. Nothing else to do in here. I'm sorry, why are we back here? Madam? Are you saying Sif was wrong to bring us all the way back to a room we already searched top to bottom? Because there's only one thing here? Madam, you're weird. I want to talk to the change god again. Mirabelle's intact statue of the change god. You look at it a little closer. You try not to make a face and fail. Can noses look like that? Wow, that left eye is somehow above the right brow. I can't tell if they're supposed to be smiling or frowning. Mira, Mira, help us roast this statue's terribly made face. Oh. Mira? Ah. Uh. Uh-oh. I was trying to make them look gentle and nice. Mira, we're so sorry. Sorry we said your statue sucked. No, no, it's fine. I'll get my revenge against you all someday. You all shudder. You always found the change belief a little weird. Mirabelle especially seems to think it's perfect or something. You're kind of curious. Maybe you should check the statue again later, once you know more about her thoughts on the change belief. Wait, what? Huh? 
How, though? An intact statue of the change god. Do I have to, like, riz her up? Like, how do I learn more about her beliefs? I've talked to everyone already, I think. Hmm. Maybe I gotta get her to a certain level? I guess, at this point, I have to level everybody up. So I'm just gonna stay in level 3 and keep leveling. to loop again. Give us some more hints. You breathe in and out. 550 XP received. Call loop. What should I do next? Mirabel's statue. So believers make a statue to connect with the change god, even in a small way. And some people might have talked to the change god through their statues. Kinda cute. And it's a nice way to feel closer to your faith. Now that you know much about the change belief still. Not that you know much about the change belief still, don't you? Maybe that'll come later. Uh, what does that mean? I'm trying to make a bob -omb. wonder where the rest is. Okay, she's not helping. Or they're not helping. Once I learn more about the faith. There's probably like a bookcase I missed or something. Either way, I'm gonna stay in level 3. And keep interacting with things, I think, and then level up. Guys, get cozy. I'm not a single crit. I hit my mouse with my cup and almost spilled everything.
One more. Easy. Why worry when you can have re people recite things instead? That's new. Bo wants to be taller. Wait, that's new. You've always wondered about crafting your body to something else, but it seems like a lot of work. You don't mind inhabiting this meat prison for the time being. Are we a spirit? A star? I've exhausted everything in this room. Yeah, this is the giant gate. Explored everything in floor three. I kind of want to go for the king one more time just to see how it goes. So I've saved at the start of floor three at everybody's current level 49. I still didn't find a way to preserve the knife once it destroys the hair, but. It, obviously, I'm probably gonna have to loop again, so that's okay. Saving at the end of floor three. Okay, let's try and head towards the king again. The gate stands in front of you. Cut it open, the knife got destroyed. Whatever. Oh yeah, she's upset because she's like, I need to fight strong to save all my friends. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm taking out the bottom left rock first. And then we'll have a peeper combo. The big one is now vulnerable to paper attacks. Perfect timing. Nice. Is like peace and love. <laughs> the big one is now even more vulnerable to paper attacks. The big one is now vulnerable to scissor attacks. The big one is now even more vulnerable to scissor attacks. So strong. How's that not a KO? Oh, it is. <laughs> you breathe in and out. 7,000 XP received. Sifrin is now level 65. Mirabel is now level 50. Isabel is now level 51. Odile is now level 51. Yes, we won! Let's... Come on, everyone, let's keep going! Mira. Yeah, that's the roommate who has the secret ingredient. But we have to talk to it again. I wonder if I have the long item. You look at the vial. There's some kind of sparkly liquid inside. If you had a long thingy thing and a short gizmo gadget, you might be able to make a bomb. A long thing. Maybe the fishing pole? That's the only thing I can think of. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, save point right before the king. Mirabo has a panic attack. But that's okay, we know how to calm her down. So which one? Which snack do you guys want? You would like... Wait, these are all new. The dialogue's not great out. I'll take the... Malonga fritters, please. Everyone was healed. Okay. 
so at this point, I've gone through all three floors and picked up all the healing items. So let's look at my haul. I have six sour tonics, five super sour, 11 salty bronze, five crafting waters, seven sweet tonics, five pepper juice, four thyme juice, and six ginger juice. So I have three more revives than I did last time. I'm gonna check what my crafts are. Mirabelle does have Shining Life. Okay. I'm gonna try the King Fight once again now. And if I fail again, then we'll have to level everybody up. Right now, Sifrin's at 65, Mirabelle's at 50, Bo's at 51, Odell is 51. I think my max level, everybody was at like 52 or 53. So only two levels behind my first attempt. But I will try. So now I'm gonna change the equips I had for Bo and Odile. Okay, I need to see what crafts Bo has. They do have come on so weak and break break already. Learned. Then not over yet. Auto defense at the start of battle or increase bow stats by five. I'd rather auto increase our defense. Because then I don't need to eat a defense item. And then crafts for Odile. The main thing I wanted Odile to naturally relearn was Paper Alpha. Auto speed up, plus five, health items do better. The craft buff and craft break are dumb. I don't like them, because all they do is make the enemy immune or weak against a certain craft type, and I don't, I don't think I need that. I'd rather have my heals do more. Okay, I'm gonna save again, just so hopefully they keep their equipped items the same. And then let's try the king fight one more time. Okay. I feel good. I'm ready. I wonder why they have tears right here. Because there would no need for you to reset at this point. No new dialogue here. Do you remember? <laughs> okay, my third attempt at the king. Is that not for this part? No. Concentrate. I'm trying to see if there's any new dialogue. I'm just holding B to make it go faster. Okay, nothing new. I'm locking in. The king waits. So the king's first attack will not be offensive. So Mirabelle's second move, I will have to guard. Rose printed glasses so we can start building a paper combo.
boost everyone's defense again. Boost allies' attack. because he saw we didn't guard. Ah, uh, you don't have the strength to go on. He's such a jerk for that. Here again. Bonnie, run. No, I can't! Oh, that was the wrong voice. Just run, Boniface. Do not worry. I will give the young one time. That's the best you can do. It hurts, but you're getting used to it. Ooh, this is new. King. What am I supposed to remember? Bright one. As you lay there dying. What do you see? I just see lines. A distorted world. The ceiling? You hear Isabel laugh tiredly. Hearing it, you laugh too. I see my friends. Oh! So, even death will not bring it back. I knew this. I knew this, and yet... Oh. The king... strikes. Okay, you're probably supposed to die and die and exhaust his dialogue too. The king killed you again. That's new. It just said, the king killed you, and not again. Start again. Because that was our third fight, technically. Okay. I don't think I want to respawn in a lower section. I want to go back to the king fight. And, like, guard on the first turn. Because apparently I was supposed to do that. Oopsie! Ouch. The king made such a fine paste out of you. You're trying to remember what it's like to have a body again. I'm ready. Promotion. If it isn't you still streaming, I'm beating this game today. I'm not even kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> There's like two more arcs after the king fight, allegedly. Or two more acts. Okay, I'm locking in. Also, guys, if you're new here, click follow. Do it, please. Let's just get right to it. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, and I had all speech prepared too. Get ready, everyone. Wait. You. Traveler. Oda looks at you with an expression screaming, does he mean you or me? You look back at the king. Right one. Do you remember? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not how it works, does it? We shall fight. And we shall see which side the universe favors. Okay, so... He says something slightly different every time. Granted, this is only my fourth fight. Wait, should I keep a counter? I think I'll make a counter of how many times this takes me. What was my hockey? It was Z. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is currently my fourth attempt at the king. I'm just putting the counter in chat. That way I can refer to it. Okay, so fourth attempt at the king. You didn't manage to beat the king earlier, but you feel a little stronger. You gain some XP. Is that off for this part? Yeah, there's nothing new. 
Might as well. So right off the jump, Mirabelle has to Miracle Guard. The king waits. Oh wait, our speed didn't go up. Oh yeah, because I unequipped Odal's thing. I'll make ourselves faster. Lower the enemy attack. Isabel looks cute and fragile. <laughs> Yo. The adorable moving shield. We're all protected and guarded. And that also increases our defense base wise. Paper Alpha. Oh. It is time, saviors. Me praying to the change god to boost our, fan our defense, like, made us take, like, 150 less damage than the first attempt. We survived it. Uh, everyone okay? Oh. Oh. They're still here. Good. Let us fight to the death, then. <laughs> yeah, let Bonnie get a few swings. She needs it. Lower enemy defense. Paper attack. Sifrin is going to use the salty broth on Mirabelle. That way the king's next turn we can- or that way Mirabelle's next turn will do guard again. Paper three, that way next turn will be a combo. I think I can do this, maybe, I don't know. Still has guard enabled. So the next, next turn. I don't need to heal anybody, so I'm gonna give my turn. To bow, so that way they can do another paper move. Okay, Sifron's guard is gone. Oh no. You feel tired. Okay, good. It wasn't an offensive move. Okay. The king is really fast. That's the problem. Decreasing their speed. I need to make sure Odell's on top of that. Oh, Mirabelle, just in time. Adorable moving shield. Yeah, anytime our status changes, we I need to bring it back up. Increase our speed with Sifrin.
increase our defense. <sighs> Damn. That's a lot. Oh my god, perfect timing, Bonnie. Next turn is gonna be Sifrin, so Sifrin will do the broth to Mirabelle again. I'm gonna attack with Oda. Yeah, I have 10 broths, so I just have to keep alternating. Since Sifrin and Mirabelle are primarily scissor moves, they're gonna be healing everybody and then also keeping the broths administered. Because Mirabelle cannot use the broth on her turn because then she would skip out on the guard. And since Sifrin is the first turn, then whenever Sifrin loses the guard, Mirabelle has to do guard on her next turn. Let's see. I should have leveled up Mirabelle more to have the skill or the craft that heals everyone, but it's okay. We should be able to tank. Oh yeah, the combo is coming up next. Paper move. And then everybody's going to be healed as well. Is that not for this part? Yeah, we saw this already. Why not? Oh yeah, he starts crying and everybody's like, he can't cry! We still got shields, defense, and speed up. I think I just need to attack here. Keep building the paper combo. Ooh. Sifrin's turn. I should keep building the paper combo, and then Mirabelle's next turn have to heal but since we're four moves away from the paper combo I'm going to heal everybody 40% HP to everyone just to make sure we can take the next hit for sure even with the guard no my attack down yeah Sifrin lost the guard so we're gonna do moving shield again Building the paper combo. And still building the paper combo. Sifrin gives broth to Mirabelle. So basically Sifrin's turns is item, broth, item, broth. So definitely going back and get the bras was the right thing to do. Okay. Our attack is up, our defense is low. For Sifrin. because Bonnie just increased her attack. Paper move to keep the combo going. Ooh, Odell! Odell can do a paper move here. They can't decrease speed yet.
paper three. That way we'll have a combo next turn. Or right now. And then it'll heal Sifrin and Mirabelle. Okay, officially he has half health. Our defense is up. Well, nothing's bad. Okay, everything's back to normal. Neutral. I think with Odile and Bo, I need to just keep the paper combos going. God, they can't freeze me. <laughs> well, good. Sifrin still has a guard, so I don't need to guard on this turn. Okay. Our attack is up, so right now I'm going to use an item that increases our defense. Because Mirabel can't do any status moves with the crafts or paper moves. So just increasing our defense back up. Nice. Okay, I can do this. Mirabelle has got the broth two turns ago, so Mirabelle will do guard on their upcoming turn, I believe. I'm gonna heal Sifrin. There we go. Yeah, Sifrin lost the guard, so Mirabelle for sure has to do guard this turn. Lower enemy's attack or lower enemy's defense? Lower enemy attack. Oh no, Mirabelle's too slow. I should have given my turn to Mirabelle, shit. Okay, Odell has to guard manually. The king makes it all stop, but Mirabelle's immune. <laughs> Easy. He's dumb. And almost like he doesn't know that Mirabelle's a housemaiden. Okay, Mirabelle will for sure be able to do a turn before the king gets to the next turn. Sifrin is going to make us quicker. Mirabelle, you gotta do the shield. You got it. Bo? I'll attack with Bo because anybody else can do the increased defense item. Okay, that's okay. broth back to Mirabelle just to make sure that I don't forget to do it. Odile. Oh, regular attack that way we heal everybody, which is what I wanted to do anyway. Paper Alpha. Okay, two-thirds there. Three-quarters? Oh, oh, please, please, all of you, tell me, why are you all fighting against me? Really? You dare ask that question? But don't you see it? Don't you want it? This perfect ending? Right now, you're fighting me of being close to divinity. 
The universe itself follows my will. And yet, you're all facing me without fear. You're all so powerful, so united, and I can see it. Oh, you're all so stunningly, so wholeheartedly happy. What? Huh? What? What are you? What kind of stupid? Ah, ha. that's why you should all understand. Even now, don't you agree? Don't you want it? Look at you all. You're all so powerful. You all managed to get this far. Don't you want to be immortalized right now? As winners? Don't you want it all to end like this? What is he? Wait, they're thinking about it. No, no, no. Don't let him manipulate you. Don't let him gaslight you. <laughs> He's not gonna trick me with his silly little words. Okay, Mirabelle's topped off. Hmm. Mirabelle needs to get a paper move in. No, Bo needs to attack. I'll have Mirabelle increase our defense. Or maybe Sifrin. Two moves away- or three moves away from a paper combo. A move from the king is coming up, so I'm gonna increase our defense. Just so we can tank. The king waits. Uh-oh. He's gonna have a strong move next. Mirabelle has no paper moves, so let's increase our attack. Because Bo and Oda will be able to get a hit in next. I was just gonna do a regular paper move. Sifrin. Rose tinted glasses. Our attack and defenses are still up. Combo. I'm doing it. Uh-oh, we don't have guard shields. Oh, oh. It is time, saviors. Uh-oh. Okay, we lost two soldiers. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, Odal will lose their guard. Oh man. I should have done the the miracle guard. It's fine, it's fine. I think right now. Cause the king is faster right now. I think it's smarter. So I can either heal us both. Because Mirabeau will have a turn. I can either revive or heal Odal and Mirabeau. But either way, Mirabeau will be able to do the Miracle Shield. Before. So I think right now, this is in, in anticipation that the king will attack next. 
I think it's smarter to heal us both that we're alive instead of reviving a third. That way, both Mirabelle and Odal have full health. Mirabelle will do shield. That way we can fully take a hit. Get us topped off. Yep, Odal loses the shield there. Get us shields again. And then next turn we'll revive our friends. Okay, he didn't attack, but that's safer. That's okay. Damn, let Bonnie get a hit in. Ooh, okay, so... He's faster. Mirabel needs to heal herself. Odell needs to do broth first. Come on, Bonnie. That's good. We might lose our shield this turn. I'm gonna heal. In case the king attacks this turn. Yep. Ooh. <sighs> See, we're so much slower when compared to the king now. It's okay, I, I can do this. I need to revive Sifrin because Sifrin is faster. Okay. Ooh. This is manageable. But not ideal. If I had three people, this would be totally doable, but since I only have two. Odell will be able to make a move before. I think I need to guard with Sifrin. And then heal with Odal. Because the problem is, whenever somebody gets revived, their attack dodge is at zero. So it takes a while to cycle through it. Man. I could revive Mirabelle. Then when it's Sifrin's turn, give turn to Mirabelle. I'll try that. Okay, Sifrin. Turn it up. Give her turn to Mirabelle, because no way Mirabelle will get a turn in before the kid makes another hit. Oh, the sparkly icon bottom left on the character indicates that their turn was given away. Okay. You know what else it indicates? An ad break, because guys, we're six hours in. I'm sorry, but I have to run an ad.
If you don't want to miss the fight, subscribe. Okay, I'm locked in. Okay. Now Maribel has to do the shield. And if anything... Mirabelle lives, Odal lives, Sifron dies. W. Okay, now we have a chance to bring people back. Okay. Oh, no. This can't. King, I don't... I do not want time to stop now. I don't want eternity. I don't want to be stuck here in what you deem a perfect moment. Oh, but do you truly think your life will get more extraordinary than this? Do you truly think you'll become more powerful, more fulfilled than you are right now? Fighting me? Do I think something will fulfill me more than fighting you to save my country? Yes, of course it will. Um, Bo, you're supposed to be dead. Shut up. <laughs> Life will never get better than this. So you should give up now? Give me a break. The eternity you wish for? I want no part of it. We want no part of it. We will not give in. Because your eternity means the end of change. And I believe in change, King. I believe in a life that goes on. Things cannot stay the same. They can't. They won't. Or we as humans cannot change for the better. So I will never let you have your way. <laughs> Yeah, what she said. Nice try trying to manipulate us into being frozen. But we won't listen to you. This isn't the end of our story, King. Not by a long shot. How egocentric to think fighting you is the highlight of our lives. Believe it or not, beating you isn't even worth writing on my resume. Saying all those things to push us into being frozen? You're the worst, King. You're nothing. You're not even a king. You're no one. No one. You're just a dumb baby idiot who froze the country in time for dumb baby idiot reasons. Huh. Sounds like there's nothing else for me to add, huh? So all you need to do right now is disappear. No. No, no, no. Disappear. Disappear. Disappear! Disappear! No! Did I do it? You attack the king with all you've got. <coughs> you all attack the king and hit as hard as you could. Mirabelle's attack brings the king to his knees. No. I can't! I can't disappear! Not yet. Not when. I still can't say it. Oh. Harry Potter ending. Wait, are we in heaven? Uh-oh. Mirabelle, that attack of yours did... Did it work? The king isn't here anymore! So... So... We won? We won! Everyone, we did it! He's gone! The, the king is gone! How? Holy crap, that was scary! Well, we did it! We did it! <laughs> oh, it was close for a second there. Oh, is it? Is it truly over? You're smiling. We, we did it, Mirabelle. We... We did it! <laughs> You all scream happily. Phew. So, what now? You're gonna tell me that you like me now, Bo. You said after we beat the king, you would tell me. Oh! What is it? The people around us, I can... I can feel them coming back to normal. 
All over Vagard! Really? So then? The head housemaiden! Oh, I can feel her! She's okay! She's okay! She's okay! She's just ahead! Come on! It's a trap! We have to tell her everything's fine! Come on, let's go! And there she goes. Uh, let's go with her! You smile and lead the way. You got a memory of victory. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of victory automatically boosts everyone's attack at the start of a battle. Uh, let's save. Everyone was healed. Save your progress? Yes. There we go. Loop 18. Wait. Did it say the end? No way. Wait, I'm no longer in Act 2. It says the end. <laughs> Guys? Also, hi, Kobobo. I didn't want to speak during the cutscene. But hi! Can we get some yo's? Hello. Oh my god, no way! I actually beat a game, holy shit. Or, surely. Hello, Mal, I figured. Okay, thank you. There are some, like, chatters. They, like, get really pissed off when you don't say, like, when you don't interact right away. But you guys are respectful. This game must be long. I'm at, like, 19 hours playtime. Shoutouts to the editor editing this. Thank you. It's a story game, so it makes sense, yeah. That's why, like, I'm not too mad about it. Okay! End game! Avengers. I want to go back. No need to go back. Oh! <laughs> Finally! Surely Maribel won't be dead up ahead, right? Oh wait, no. I want to see the... Can I click on the decorations? No. I didn't even need the bob -omb. Or the exclusive knife. I did it with faith, trust, and pixie dust. Whoa. So high. You put yourself in front of Odile and hope your hat protects her from the view. Clouds! So high. Madame, you okay? I... I'm fine. Sifrin protected me from the worst of it. You stand on your tiptoes. Look at the ground and take my hand, madame. I won't let you fall. Uh... Thank you. Come on, everyone! Come on! The head housemaid is just ahead, come on! Belle, wait up! One step at a time, madame. Let's go. Let's go! Let's go. Sifrin, I will kill you with my bare hands if you bring us closer. Oh, how high are we? I wanna- Please stop the kid from coming closer to the edge. I'm gonna faint. I'm seriously gonna faint. If I see the kid gets any closer to the crabbing edge. <gasps> Odal swore! She said crab. Uh, come here, guys, alright? You both take a few steps back to reassure Odal. Okay, I didn't realize we are on the roof. I'm sorry, Odal. Thank you. Fear of heights is no joke, huh, madame? Tell me about it. You're too cool. You needed one weakness. Mm-hmm. Oh, the sun rays. The statue. That sure is a pillar. It's a pillar. The statue's facing the other way. You can't say its face. I can't interact with these two statues. They're not destroyed. Head house maiden. Holy! Okay, what should I make her sound like? Mm. Mirabelle. Oh, that's the head house maiden. She's so tall. She might have three heads on you, Isabel. She's so pretty! Oh, head housemaid and you're okay! I... 
the house and when the king mirabel oh dear one i'm so proud of you look at you the savior of Vagard. you saved the house and the whole country of Vagard. we all owe you a great debt all of you you jump what oh uh of course don't worry just another day saving a whole country you know how it is <laughs> Oh, I did not think the king would be so strong. When he attacked the house, everyone was counting on me. But there was nothing I could do. Hearing young Mirabel, who was so shy and reserved, was the one to save all of Agard, you look so much more confident in yourself now. I'm so glad I managed to give you some power before the king's curse took over me. Ah, uh, head housemaiden, just so you know, everyone thinks the changed god blessed me. Oh, well why would everyone think that? People started saying it, and I... I couldn't say otherwise. Oh. Well, that's a rather silly thing for them to think. I thought we all knew that the change god is a pretty lazy deity. Wow. Isn't that a sacrilegious thing to say? <laughs> but it's true. Got him. Oh, my dear Mirabel. Did you think people would lose hope if they thought the change god wasn't the one who blessed you? I... I'm so sorry. I do not blame you, Mirabel. You acted in a way you thought was right. I knew I was right to bless you. But... Why me? <laughs> well, I only had the strength to bless one person. And I was already toast. And you're almost out of the house when the king attacked. So really? You were the only logical choice. Uh, that's it? Awkward. And, housemaiden Mirabel, you have always been the most hardworking housemaiden in the house, always striving to learn new things, to better yourself, always meeting challenges head on, even if you didn't think you'd succeed. You were the only logical choice, yes, but you were also the only right choice. Oh, and housemaiden, no, you were phrasy, you were phrasy, thank you. Oh. The head housemaiden boops Mirabelle's nose. You are still so stinking cute, Mirabelle. And you, Mirabelle's companions. Thank you for helping her get this far. You have my gratitude and the entire country of the guards. <laughs> no problem at all, Madame Head Housemaiden. It was an honor. Truly, it was nothing. You hide your blushing, f you hide your blushing face under your hat. <laughs> Soon, you'll be able to go back to your normal lives, away from battle and strife. Finally, you'll be able to go home! If there's anything the House of Dormon can thank you. Dang it. I almost had this entire cutscene almost perfect. If there's anything the House of Dormont can do to thank you, please do not hesitate. But for now, bask in the feeling of a job well done. You managed to defeat the king and brought peace back to Vagard. Before your journey ends, you should talk to everyone. Oh. So. Ah. Whoop whoop, we did it. We won, etc. Ah. Whatever. This was quite a workout. My entire body is screaming. Savior of a guard, huh? That's something to add to my list of accomplishments. But now I can finally go back to traveling. I'd be curious to visit some of our Vagardian cities and hear what they have to say after an event like this. It'll be weird to travel alone now, but I'll get used to it again. Or I could just go home to Kabu. Hmm. Maybe she'll tell you now. To do your research? Are you hoping I'll tell you now that our journey is over? Huh. Keep dreaming. Boo. Ha <laughs> Huh. I'll miss you, Sifrin. You're a little strange, but you're a good kid. Maybe try letting down your walls every once in a while, huh? And come to Kabu anytime. Maybe we'll meet again during your travels. Oh. She's smiling at you gently. You smile back. I'm 
was so sad. Okay, I'm gonna change the title to The End. farming the end question mark question mark question mark i also need water <laughs> i can't believe it's over surely unless i somehow imagine there's another boulder at the very end right when i go down the stairs imagine What's wrong? It's... It's really over, right? Like, for real, for real? It's over? The king is gone? For real, for real, Bon. So, so then... So then I can go back to Bambosh and see my sister again? She'll be okay? She'll move around? I'm sure of it. Bonnie doesn't seem to believe it yet. How about this? Huh? If she's not moving when you go see her, you can punch me three times. Deal. Wait, that, that's such a long journey, though. I'm not... Wait, that's such a long journey, though. I'm not gonna go find you just so I can punch you if you're wrong. That's dumb. Just as dumb as your sister not being okay when we just won. Oh. Oh! You're right! Okay, then I'll believe you. Hopefully, I won't have to walk forever to punch you. You laugh. Can I talk to them again? Bonnie stares at you without saying anything. You give them a wave. Bonnie shyly waves back. Success. Okay, repeating the dialogue again. I'll talk to... Odile again. Back to looking around curiously, like always. She sees you staring, flashes you a smile. You smile back. Oh my god, is she flirting? I can sit on the bench! Do one of those? Nah, we're trying to smash Bo. Sifrin! I... I'm not dreaming, am I? We won, didn't we? Are you sure? We really won? We really won, Mira. Oh. Oh, they change. I don't think I can believe it just yet, to be honest. We fought the king, and in the last attack I dealt through the trick and defeated him, but... It's been... It's been such a long journey, you know? I... I, I can't believe it's over. I... Oh no, she's shaking. She's crying. Uh, do something. Um, breathe with me, Mira. Uh, okay. You both breathe slowly. In and out. Huh. <laughs> oh, no, I I'm just thinking. You can be so nice, Sifrin. You feel your cheeks burn. Oh, you're blushing, Sifrin. Oh, you know, um... Um, I know we haven't known each other for that long, but, but I hope, you know, I really treasure your company. No, friend zoned. I do. I, I really do. And so, thank you. Thank you for accompanying me on this journey. You smell so hard, your cheeks start to hurt. You can't speak, you're so happy. I'm sure you're excited to go back to traveling on your own. But don't forget me, Okay. Come see me at Dormont any time. I'd love to hang out. Promise? You promise. <laughs> Mirabel smiles at you gently. That's the sun. Outside. It's bow time. Sif. We did it! We did it, Sif! We did it! We stopped the king! We can finally go back to our normal lives! Isn't it great? It is. Yeah. I, uh... I said... 
Do you remember what I said at the clock tower? Oh, that's right. He wanted to tell you something after you beat the king, didn't he? You wanted to tell me something? Yes. Um... Yes. Okay. Phew. Sif? Sifaruni. Sifrin. I... 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 I lo Are you guys done talking already? Crab! I wanna go and eat dinner! I'm super duper hungry! Ugh. So, are you done? Are you done talking? Yeah, we're done talking. He didn't get to tell you what he wanted. That's too bad. Uh, <laughs> but Ziff. I'm glad this isn't over. I can't wait to go back to my old job, you know? Make sure to say hi when you're near Javante, okay? You know it. Ugh! Stupid kids. Ruining the adults' fun. He doesn't seem to be able to meet your gaze for some reason. Gaze? <laughs> Man. Traveling one. Are you done talking with your companions? Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'd like to thank you for accompanying young Mirabel thus far. I'm very grateful. Sifrin, yes? If there's anything I can do to thank you, please don't hesitate to let me know. I know you will go back on your travels soon, but I do hope you will keep in touch, if only for young Mirabel. But no matter what, know that Dormont will always be open to you. Please come back. Any... time. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, no, no! Oh. Sifrin. I'm so sorry. There's no way we can stop it now. I'm sorry. You'll be going back. Back the back when everything started. The air around you feels weird. You taste burnt sugar in the back of your throat. What do you mean? What's happening? I know you thought your quest was over, but it can't be! Something's broken, something's failing, rotting! I can't fix it on my own, not before it all ends! If only I had noticed sooner! I should have seen it, prevented it! You feel a tug on your stomach. It's my fault that you have to suffer like this! I just hope that one day, you might learn to forgive- You feel a tug on your stomach. Loop 19. I knew this would happen. Things are too good to be true. But you know what? If I have to do this again, maybe Bo will actually tell me he wants me. You're back. Friend! Sifrin! Sifrin? Good morning. Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? That's just like... Sifrin, what's wrong? You can't breathe. You won, didn't you? Why are you back? Why are you back? Sifrin, answer me, what's wrong? Your hands are shaking. Your stomach is killing you. The whole universe is closing in on you. You're back to the start. You're back here. You're back here. You're back here. You're back here. Your journey was over and you're back here. Your journey was over, wasn't it? You won, didn't you? You all survived, right? And yet, and yet you're... You try breathing in, but you can't breathe. You can't breathe. Sifrin! Ah. Uh. Mira? Oh, Sifrin, finally you answered. What's wrong? What happened? You weren't answering me. And you're so pale. Slowly, gently, she touches your cheek. 
You still flinch. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you have a nightmare? Yeah, that's exactly it. Oh no! It must have been a horrible nightmare. But you're awake now. Do you want to talk about it? I... I... I was crying. Crying? Why? Because... I was making an onion quiche. Um, why would making an onion quiche make you... I was cutting a lot of onions. Sifrin! Sifrin, you crab! I can't believe I was worried! You laugh in a very convincing way. Hmm. I'm glad at least your nightmare wasn't that bad. But, hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll be waiting in the village, all right? Come talk to me later. With Mirabelle gone, your smile drops. You're back. Why are you back? You beat the king, didn't you? Did something go wrong? It was the end of your journey. And yet you... The head housemaiden. She said something about the world being rotten. You should go see Loop. They're the only one you can talk to. They might know what's going on. Man. I knew it was too good to be true. You close your single eye. That was new dialogue. Save. Back in the meadow. Well. I think we'll pause here for today. So that was me going back through all the levels. Facing the king. Only for it to crumple down in front of me. Now I figured it was too good to be true. So let's see what happens next time. So if you enjoyed this, you can like the video, leave a comment down below. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? And if you know, no spoilers. Okay. But if you want to watch me play games live, you can follow my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. Thank you for watching. Man, I kind of clutched that king fight. I don't know if I could do that again. No, I can't. I just had to level. Man, we'll see. I knew it was too good to be true. Damn. Okay, guys. Why is your eye single? Lush. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just not reading this. <laughs> you know, we got to the end, and spoilers, Isabeau did not confess to me like he said he would. He's such a fucking liar. Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap up stream, but do not worry. We're gonna do a little, one, one, one quick little game of sap. One quick little game. Do, 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 do. What did he have to tell you? Then he wants to fuck me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, while I'm getting sap set up, just a reminder, today's stream is presented to you by... Peace and art at my shop. Oh my, god. oh my god, look at the paintings back here. They're all my original artwork. And there are new Lionel prints available. Guys, click the link or bookmark my website now. Use code TWITCH10 for $10 off your purchase today. Ain't no way. I had a theory. A game theory. Okay. I'm gonna load up SAP. I want you guys to look at this. Wow. Keep looking at it, okay? Rate it out of 10, please. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm also gonna grab my headphones. Should I put some music on? While I get it set up. Do, boop, 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 boop. I feel a lot better having the protein shake halfway through stream. So I, I just have to remember to do that for longer streams. I do genuinely feel a lot better now. Do, 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 do. Do, boop, 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 boop.
Uh, let's do Nintendo elevator music. You make elevator music. I found another way to fuse it. So, what do you guys, what do you guys think of In Stars and Time? I hope, I genuinely hope it only take one more stream, one more stream, hopefully. But like I said, the next stream I'm gonna do is probably gonna be Tuesday, and we're doing, uh, Poke Rogue. Next stream I'm gonna do on Tuesday is going to be stream ends when I die in Poker Rogue. So it could like literally be a fucking 10 minute stream. So guys, make sure you got notifications on so you don't miss it. Notice how the top gifters all have ER. Besides Vic, Vicantant. Vicantant is not an ER fan. You know, I'll say I think Vicantant is an ER hater. Do bo bo ba do. I can't hear the music. Oh, now I can. Okay, Super Auto Pets. This song is too slow. Bado, 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 bo, bo. Bado, 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 bado. Bado, bado. And we're in. Guys, let's just do one game. Mm. Okay, so a challenge I've been trying is... I'm not gonna do it now because I kind of want to just, like, practice it offline before I do it for, like, a, a streamer or a video. Is only choosing my first five pets. So, like, only going to the final rounds with, like, tier one pets. And I've yet to succeed. Uh, let's do the weekly pack, normal mode. Because I kind of want to win today. I got like 10 losses this morning and I felt very sad. Uh, guys, go gamble. Do you think... I mean, gamba. Do you think I will win? Also, guys, we're another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're here, click follow, get clue notes, and you get the type of chat. If you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on so you don't miss a single stream. Like I said, Tuesday stream, which will be my next stream, will probably be a short one. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure you're following my Twitter as well. Because I tweet right before I go live. That way you can say hi in chat. Okay, I'm locked in. Weekly pack, normal mode, start. Ooh, mosquito. I'll freeze the cookie. Ant is good. Gibbon is also good. Gibbon is good if you're trying to farm health. I'm gonna freeze the... Whatever you call this. Alchemides. And turn. Fussy. Fussy. Dense investors. Oh, mega dense. Because investors are dumb. I mean, sorry, that was mean. W. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Reroll. I don't want to summon build. I don't like any of these pets, but I'll get the termite just temporarily. I'll give it a temporary plus two, just because I don't want to re-roll. Because what I've noticed is that the first two rounds is very important that you just live. A draw is good. You either have to get a win or draws in the first two turns, and then you're set. Turn three. Ooh, a yak. He's gonna make me yank. Bone is good. But not good for early game. Yak. Kidneys. Cupcake is good, too. Let's see. Who do I want to give temporary health to? Wait, ain't no way! Thank you, Marceline, for the 200 bits! Thank you! Your first time cheering? I really appreciate that. Thank you! Can we get some Marcelines in chat? Thank you. You're number two on the leaderboard! Thank you! Also, if you type a sentence next to the bakes, there's TTS. 
I'll give you one TTS sentence for free. The next thing you type, I'll say out loud in my in my TTS voice. Thank you, Marceline. Thank you. Just don't say anything like sus. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say anything bad. <laughs> Unless... No, I'm kidding. But thank you, hon. Guys, peace in stocks? To the moon. Mm. No sicke. I'm going to increase the yak temporarily so because it has nine health. That's kind of crazy. Now, if I get a gibbon in an upcoming turn, this is gonna be crazy. He has a 5-5 five, five orangutan? Fuck you, man. Okay, I did say your next chat is TTS. Ready? You make me laugh. So, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. You want me to say destroy us all five times? If you know, you know. I don't know. Okay, wait. Do I have the peace and bot on this overlay? Wait, I gotta get the peace and bot. Wait, where is peace and bot? Oh, wait. I don't have peace and bot. Over here, right here. Okay, peace and bot TTS. Destroy us all. 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 There you go. If you cheer 500 bits, you get Peace and Bot TTS for free. But only for 500 bits. But I gave it to you for free. It's a Groom Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Oh. Is that like some boomer shit? I've never heard of that. I'm sorry. I I've, ne I've never heard of that. <laughs> yeah, I just play... No, I don't play Pokemon. Um, Alchemides. Bone. Enter. Also, I realized I need to turn off Peace and Bot on this scene. There we go. It's a 2001 show. I would have been two. Did anybody watch Get Smart? Wait, I'm like absolutely crushing. Look, I got three trophies and five hearts, guys. Am I like... A pro? Has anybody heard of the show Get Smart? My mom? She would buy... Get them! Or no, orangutan, sorry. I mix up the monkeys. Hmm. I was one when the show came out. Oh, so that means you're my age. From the 60s, yeah. Because my mom, she liked watching shows that were airing when she was younger, so... She plays, um... She bought, like, all the season packs for Get Smart. I don't have the DVD, so I bought the season 5 on YouTube. Get Smart is pretty good. Have you- okay, have you guys ever seen references to the Cone of Silence? That joke, that reference, is from Get Smart. Okay, let's see. Reroll! I really I don't need the gibbon. Get rid of that fucker. My dad said the phrase once. It's kind of like a, a niche joke. I've seen it been referenced in a few like other because Get Smart is like a comedy. Um, primetime TV show about, like, spies. And it's, like, slapstick humor, pretty witty writing. Five seasons. Really cute show overall. Ooh. This could be controversial. I'm doing something crazy! 
Just because I want the orangutan to give my desired pets greater health. Making the front two tanks? Watch this. Now the orangutan is going to give himself health. Right now I have a total health of 21. I can maybe live this. Uh... Oh my god, it paid off. W. Garlic to the orangutan? I think garlic is a better perk for this pack, personally. This is the weekly pack. Freezing cupcake, because it gives plus three. Leveling up the alchemies. Blowfish! Ooh, deer is also good, but I can only choose one. Blowfish is the better bet. Mm. Unfreezing the cupcake. I don't need that next turn. I'm locked in. Wait, what's this? Friend summon, give it a plus one attack. Oh yeah, if you do easy mode, you get toys. But you get good toys. If you do hard mode, you get bad toys. No, I lost! That was a really good run so far, though. Four trophies, five hearts. God damn. Right when I say that, it's gonna go downhill. Freeze the orangutan. Garlic to the blowfish for now. Hmm. I'm thinking. It's probably best to combine. Oh, I should have bought the orangutan first. Okay, those are ship pits anyway. Now the orangutan will give the alchemides plus three. Or plus six, because it leveled up. Easy. What's a prong? <laughs> the wrinkled prongs? <laughs> What's a prong? W! Okay. Prong. Pronk? Watch it be a slur. <laughs> Pronk definition. Of a spring balk or other antelope to leap into the air with an arch back and stiff legs, typically as a form of display when threatened. Slang meaning? To show off or strut. Prance. Okay. Okay. My favorite show as a kid were Tom and Jerry and also Twilight Zone. I've never seen Twilight Zone. I've considered watching it. What were my favorites? Oh, you know, okay, I watched a lot of PBS. We talked about this earlier. But I love the show Between the Lions because I loved reading. Yak to level up. Okay, polar bear stupid. Belogo whale stupid. Freeze the alchemides, because maybe I might swap the alchemides for a different pet. I also loved Austin and Allie just because I like shipping the two mains. <laughs> also, everybody says that I look like Rosie Rodriguez, which, not really, our faces aren't that similar. They just say that because I got I'm plus size and I got big hair. Okay, let's see. I'll do plus three to the camel. And turn. Damn, that one was close. 
turn nine. Salt is good. Let's get it for now. Combining blowfish. I don't like either of these. Let's see. Purchasing the egg. And turn. I basically like most of the shows that- Oh my god! The Rough Ruffman show. That, I think, was my favorite. I wanted to go on it so bad. But... Uh, my parents actually took me to like a Disney casting call because occasionally I think they previously had an office in Seattle or they had like a like a, a Not roll call but like a temporary like call to like get people for Disney and I remember I didn't sign an NDA so I can leave this was back when I was like fucking six or seven And keep in mind my sister and I both did it and also my sister's on the spectrum so <laughs> We both, because they asked us to, like, hold a box and then say, like, oh, I wonder what's in the box. And apparently, my sister and I both delivered the line so deadpan. Because, <laughs> like, we didn't know it was an acting gig. We didn't know that we were supposed to, like, you know, be extra. So we, we didn't get casted. <laughs> but damn, I could have been a Disney star. My, par my, my parents, are, like, didn't explain what was going on. But she... Honestly, kind of dodged a bullet, let's be honest, but, you know. I could have had Disney money. Okay, none of these are good shit. And turn. I think I can clutch this. Unless... Mocha. W. My sister went for Nickelodeon. Yeah, that's <laughs> lucky bag. She did good, but she had got cash that she probably would have been on something like iCarly. Dodged a bullet, let's be honest. Freezing the mushroom, leveling up the yak. Ooh, bear and rhino. Mmm. Ooh. You know, I always go for rhino. I'm gonna freeze the rhino, get rid of alchemides. Get, get rid of Alchemides. Get the bear. Um, I haven't done a bear run for this game yet. We are going to give the mushroom to... To either the camel or the blowfish. I think the blowfish. Reroll. Rangatang, taco. Freezing both rhinos. And turn. It's been a long time since I've had a bear in my team. A 23 turtle? Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm three trophies away. Don't worry. No importa. Uh, Reroll. Orangutan is going to give the camel health this turn. Plus two, plus two. It's advantageous to buy the cookie just so I live past this turn. Putting the camel in front of the yak so that way the yak can tank. Or no, no, no. Like this. Yeah, I like that. Blowfish in the front! Ooh, not the rhino! 
should. Oh. The Orangutan tank can win this, don't worry. It takes two less damage. Uh, yes, sir. And I forgot I had the bear. The bear is kind of carrying right now. 8 out of 10. W. Freezing the cookie. Rerolling. I don't want to reroll. Cookie? Two. Two. Camel. Bone? To bear. Orangutan. And turn. Eighteen polar bears. Ten ten chili bus is gonna hurt. Oh, the rhino's getting a knockout. Shit. Oh no, 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 no. Uh. Man. It's not necessarily advantageous to swap out the orangutan for a rhino. But it could be my last resort. Increasing health of pufferfish. Reroll. Hmm. Because the rhino will probably not get a knockout if it's a 6-7. But I could. Mm, okay, what I'm thinking. I sell the orangutan, put the rhino behind the camel, because it does have 16 health. Because whenever the camel gets hit, it gives plus one, plus two. That could be a strat. You know what? I'll try it. Give two random plants plus two. Come on, give one to the rhino. Yeah! <laughs> Rerolling just for fun. Okay. This is eight out of ten trophies, one heart left. I have to freeze for the next turn, so that way, if I do live, I need potential items. Blowfish in the front. It has 17 hearth, my biggest health enemy. It does have a respawn. And then whenever the camel gets hit, because it does have 16 health, it gives plus one, or plus one or plus two. Yeah, plus one attack, plus two health to the rhino. And then yak in the back, bear in the backpack. And turn. This can only work if the opponent's first pet does not have like 20 health. Oh, it's a 10-10, but it negates damage once, so... <sighs> of course they have the watermelon. <gasps> I'm so lucky! Shit. Health to the pufferfish. It needs to tank. Reroll. Freezing the pufferfish. Buying a rhino. Buying an apple. Freezing the garlic to give it to the rhino next turn and turn.
All the fucking slots! You know what? I think it was a mistake to swap out the rhino for the orangutan because the orangutan had like fucking 18 health and I swapped it out. It could have been a tank. But you know what? That's okay. Turn 15, 8 trophies. That's still a pretty good run. Damn. I said one game. One game. I can't win them all. Did I win? Wait. Who be I want to see who gambled. Two people did believe highest better vacanta with 500 points well i'm sorry your guys' points go to me to the void damn i tried i tried okay well i did say one game just one game and i would never lie Okay, well, we'll wrap for today. We got pretty far in In Stars and Time. I assume, hopefully, one more stream left of that game. But do you know where your stream is not over yet? Because we did get four or 300 bits today for two people. So we get to do calligraphy. You guys know the drill. Subscribe or use your points and I'll write your name. This is some Ludwig ass music. <laughs> okay, as I'm getting the camera plugged in, just a reminder make sure you're following me off on the social media Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. I post on Twitter right before I start stream. Instagram, I never post. And then TikTok daily clips. Also, Marceline, what color do you want your chat name? Because I don't think you have a custom color selected for your account. If you click on your chat box, and I think either the bottom left or bottom right, and open the options, you click chat identity, and then you can choose a custom color. And I think since you're a prime sub, you can like choose a color picker option. So you can choose like any custom color. Because in the Rich People Journal, I try to like make people their chat colors. There we go. Done, I think. Oh, another pink chatter. We don't got many of those. Cool. Yeah, because I think you subbed with Prime before, right? Yeah, you got a Prime sub. Because if you have a Prime or Twitch Turbo, you can choose any custom color. That's why my chat color is like this pastel green. Because I have a Twitch Turbo. Oh my god, there's two of me. There you go. Oh, I forgot to change my pin chat. Guys, sub to my YouTube smile. I thought I heard the sound of my computer, but it's in my head. Okay.
Okay, I did spell it right. It's M-A-R-C-I-L-E-N. For some reason, I think it's C-I-L-I-N, but it's not. That's how you spell it in a show? Wait, it's another reference? What's it a reference to, Marceline? Once again, thank you for the 200 bits your first time sharing. I appreciate the support. Thank you. That can buy a third of a pack of envelopes for the art shop. Yes, sir. Clean. I love crossing the double T's. Adventure time. Oh. Adventure time is another show I didn't watch. Oh. I can also appreciate the style. I like the style of a lot of American cartoons. Because they're not, like, pretty. I kind of like it. Once again, thank you to Vacantant for the 100 bits today. Thank you. I appreciate your continued support. But spend some money on yourself, okay? But thank you, Vic. Three days in a row in the Bridge People Journal. You know what I'll say? I think Vic wants attention. Thank you, Vic. I'm glad you're able to watch more streams, too. Now, Brokies. Use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. I'm not even kidding. Because you know what? I believe in equality in the chat room. Screw the Oilers. I'm kidding, of course. <laughs> I'm kidding. Kidding, we have one name redeemed for today. Also, I think Write My Name in Rainbow is still available. Nobody redeemed it today. The T's kind of low, but that's okay. We'll say it's style. I just realized it's 5 p.m. Oh my god. Shit, I was supposed to end by 4. Oopsie. Oopsie. Eh, it's okay, though. Okay. Because it's late, I'm going to wrap now. So, I would like to thank you all for watching any Shadow Circus. I hope you guys had fun today. We got a bit further in In Stars in Time. We also lost a SAF game, unfortunately. So, 
I am not going to stream this weekend. I'm hanging out with my friends. So, I probably won't be able to stream Monday because, you know, I got to do errands. So, I'll probably see you guys on Tuesday. And like I said, we'll come back to In Stars in Time later in the week. Like, probably Wednesday or Thursday. So, next time you see me, it will be Poker Rogue. Stream ends when I die in Poker Rogue. My first time ever playing Poker Rogue, by the way. So don't miss it. If you don't want to miss it, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. You can also follow my Twitter. Because I usually post right before I start stream. That way you can get in chat right away. This is the kind of music I listen to when I sleep. VOD watchers, right now this compilation is called A Nintendo Music Mix to Sleepfully or for Sleeping Beautifully or Relaxing Wonderfully. <laughs> That's a weird ass title. But yeah. I don't like listen to game music unless it's on stream. I have been very into Korean soft pop. There's a link to the stream playlist. It's most of them are copyright free. Most of them. I haven't checked the copyrights in a while. Because like now that I can stream and separate the audio sources, like I can play whatever music I want on stream now and not worry about getting taken down. Okay. Once again, thank you all for watching. Once again, thank you to Vicanted and Marceline for the bits today. Thank you both. Thank you. Like I said, I'll see you guys Tuesday. And if you miss me, subscribe to the YouTube weekly stream highlights. So you can just watch every single one of my videos. There will be a new video out tomorrow at 9 a.m. So go subscribe. It's free to sub over there. Okay. I had fun. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Monday, guys. And I'll see you all eh, probably Tuesday. You know, I've streamed five days this week. I usually don't stream this much. But you know what? It's because I care. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye bye yeah i'm gonna play the outro song right away because it's very hot in my room and i gotta go make dinner peace out you mean peace in <laughs> i hope you had fun today marceline enjoy your weekend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.